Okay, hello everyone. How y'all doing today? Alright, so first stream of the new mic. Uh, I did some some tests on my own. It sounded good to me and the person I had testing with. Uh, let me know if uh, the mic audio needs to go down or the game audio needs to go down, anything like that. Hopefully it sounds better than the last mic. <laughs> yeah, hello everyone. Yeah, sorry it's a long for me to uh, start up another stream. <laughs> Why is the mic good? <laughs> Some people were... I, might have been you. <laughs> were wanting me to use a terrible mic just so it was more appropriate for Shu. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I missed the bad mic. Shut up. <laughs> Turn the mic up very slightly. Okay, on my screen it's like uh, hitting the yellow when I speak. But, uh, sure, I'll turn it up a, a smidgen. Okay. Hopefully that's a little better. Alright, we're going to be starting, uh, starting Chew all over again. To make up for the, the last stream sort of being terrible because of the mic breaking down on me. It took me forever to figure out what was wrong with it. Because I didn't think the mic would just break all of a sudden out of nowhere. But I guess I did have it for like many years. I think I had it since like college. Or maybe even high school. Hey! Come back! <laughs> Imagine you paying a hundred bucks just to stream juice story mode. <laughs> the yellow turbans are upon us! You have to save our village! Know your place! We are the Imperial Army. We have no time to waste with worthless plans. Slabs. <laughs> I still love that. <laughs> Help! Help! Ah! Oh, the game audio might be blowing out. The Let me know if it's too loud. Our village! Leave everything to us. When I tested, I tested with a PS4 game. Alright, you guys ready to save peasants for a second time? I reset all the characters so they should be appropriate levels for normal. Just one to go. Let's finish them off. That's more like it. The game honestly sounds really loud in my headphones. To someone. As scrawny as you. But that made to be on my end. If it's good on your end, then cool. Done here, but I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> Delete the peasants. <laughs> oh, thank you, Saber Frosty. During the later Han period, the signs of impending rebellion were everywhere. Yeah, right now members basically just have a uh, have a few emotes the they can use. Chaos and caused the people to oh, someone wanted quickly. me to put in the League of Bayo mode for the benevolence. I did do that. The people found themselves yearning for change. Zhang Jiao, the leader of a religious sect known as the Way of Peace, fanned the flames of rebellion and formed an army. This uprising would later come to be known as the Yellow Turban Rebellion. The threat of the yellow oh, you're only starting tomorrow, Aristocrat? Like Jeez, I feel so old. <laughs> Sensing their impending doom, the Imperial Court I've been out of college for years, meanwhile other people are just starting it. Among those who answered was a man who fought on behalf of the people. His name was Liu Bei, and he was a descendant of Han royalty. Though we may have been born separately, we will die together as one. With this oath taken in the Peach Garden with his sworn brothers, Liu Bei joined the battle. For within his heart, 
There was no greater cause than to ease the people. What's my suffering. favorite Dynasty Warriors game? Uh, I really like Dynasty Warriors 4. It's mostly for nostalgia. Like, functional, I do think Dynasty Warriors 8 is like the best game. So I guess personal Speak favorite is 4, but overall, above their head I'd say 8 the is the best. Here, that person is Lord Guan Yu. I, for, I forgot I I made the Lubu emotes, the uh, him drinking Pepsi. <laughs> I mean, how could I not use that one? Look at the size of these guys. They're like giants. Let's see. If you're going on ahead, please be careful. The leader of the Yellow Turbans, Zhang Jiao, is around here somewhere. I'm wanting to find the uh, It's Me guy. I'm thinking of volunteering. I want to get out of this town and make a name for myself. Don't forget me, my lord. There he is. I'll fight to keep you safe. Okay, I believe... Yeah, these swords are a bit too strong for Liu Bei right now. Let's, uh... Get on the glorious swords. Where the other twin swords just fucking use the R1 attack? There they are. Let's see. Okay, and everything did reset for him. Good. Okay, so just to recheck, like audio's fine, both for game and the mic. Doesn't need to be changed anyway. Fallen behind the Imperial Army considerably. We must pick up the pace and catch up. What's the big hurry? It's not like they care anyway. We're simply volunteer soldiers. They probably aren't even missing us. No, he is right. We must hurry and catch up with everybody. You're too serious. Well, at least I'll get to go out there and see some action. Yeah, I crush them all. Defeat, Love right? this song. Then let's do this. Oh, thank you, Coloco. Because the is truly a master of strategy, breaking your mic to make you play. buy another one and redo Shu for more screen time. He he really is. He planned this so far in advance. Like eighteen hundred years ago, he had this ready. He knew I'd be streaming it. And he knew he wanted Chu to have more screen time. Oh yeah, someone mentioned. Yeah, Liu Bei's uh, his charge four into his ex. That yeah, that's really good. It's consistently good in every game he has it. It kind of makes him one of the better characters, honestly, because it's good range and he can get it out really quick. Particularly yeah, in Warriors Archie, where uh, they have elemental attacks. Where whatever triggers elements is just broken as hell. We must retreat. This is not the end. Uh, someone asking if I'm gonna play engage. I assume you mean fire room engaged. Uh, yeah, I'll probably record it. Uh, I don't think I'll stream it because I tried streaming three houses at one point, but all the house stuff, like running around the monastery, that got really boring to stream. So if I was gonna stream a fire room game. I would rather it be one of the older ones, like Path of Radiance, which it did stream. Because it just goes straight into the gameplay. There's very little faffing about you have to do. So you are my next opponent. I don't like having a, like, running around the monastery for an hour <laughs> before getting into actual gameplay. I honestly kind of get tired of that now whenever I replay it. I tried replaying Golden Deer on Maddening, and just got bored of it. Like, that's really draining after you've done it a bunch of times. Okay, seems like the audio is good. Alright, thanks. <laughs> we defeated Guan Hai. Nits is Guan Lo. 
That's such a stupid joke, and I love it. I'm a fan of leaving base dash attack as well. Just a 360 spin. Ready and Don stream win? I don't know. Just kind of whenever I feel like doing it, I guess. I like how the boulders just bounced around each other and completely went the wrong direction. For no threat at all. Olive's charge too is pretty terrible. The vertical swipes, like, not very useful. Or I guess that was his charge three. His charge two would be that, which is a decent air combo. Charge one is all right because it opens up the enemy and stuns them. Gets fast guards. And his R one, probably the quickest R one in the game. Which is nice to just break out an unblockable attack, even if it doesn't really do much. There's two guys at the bottom. I think I ignored them the last time, so I guess we'll go after them this time. Yes, it's for Rolf. Shut up, Aristocrat. Rolf was with us for the entire campaign. I don't know what you're talking about. I used him so much at the end. You also don't like spending 50% of your time outside of battles. Yeah. I must retreat. This is not the end. A couple of Warriors games are bad about that, too. Stand in the way of virtue shall fail. Like, I've had multiple Warriors games I've played where, like, the, uh, the weapon system has been so, like, element heavy or grind heavy or whatever that I've had to spend, like, 30 minutes at a time just shifting through everyone's weapons to, like, upgrade stuff. And that's where he's at, I get the problem where, like, I hit the weapon cap. So I have to stop and sell a bunch of weapons. I don't want to be able to pick up any more weapons. And I like to pick them up because I hate seeing the tech spot that shows up saying, Hey, you can't pick this up. It's really distracting. And also just leaving a box on the ground. Oh, I didn't trigger the wind. <laughs> I need to trigger that before I can go over here. I guess your allies don't trigger it. Are are all the allies just set to follow me? Gods in heaven, great all right, there we go. May the winds keep our comrades safe from harm. Brother, I believe there is a cliff to the My south. Time is now. We could use that as an attack. How do you even know that, Guan Yu? He hopes to see does not destroy many of my- You know what? Me as well. If we were going on the way to buy a new one, I would hate for it to crap out on me as well. Loco, you are a monster. <laughs> With nearing 25k subs, I should have a 25k hour long stream of my favorite Warriors games, such as Samurai Warriors 3, Kitten's Rage 2, and Dynasty Warriors DS. And especially Dynasty Warriors 9. Yeah. God, that would be torture. That is, that is my level of hell. <laughs> That's a good point, Pedro. Guan Yu is very tall. He could have easily seen the cliffs. <laughs> My time is now. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall see. What's a call horse button? Hell do. Okay. Stand in the way of virtue shall sometimes it's a deep pad, sometimes it's hell do. Twenty-four hour encyclopedia stream. 
You know what, maybe someday. But well, probably not 24 hours. <laughs> but it's come up so much. May actually do it at some point. <laughs> maybe there'll be like an April Fool stream. Like, all I'll say is that I'm going to be streaming, like, one of the Dynasty Weirds games. And it's technically true. I'll just be streaming the encyclopedia. <laughs> See if anyone remembers that when April Fool's comes around. Because Elden should create OnlyFans for charity. What are, what are OnlyFans? I've heard that phrase mentioned before. I have no idea what it is. Excellent brother. I won't let you get too far ahead of me That's essentially what an encyclopedia stream is gonna be. So you are my next opponent. I should honestly look up how to uh better protect the microphone. Because I kinda just Leave it out. <laughs> I don't really put it up or anything when I'm not using it. Because a lot of times when I start streaming, I'll stream a bunch at a time, so it just stays outside. I guess I should move it into a closet or something. When I'm not actively using it, of course. The horn has already burned out. Fools who would defy heaven's will feel its fiery fury. For the people, I cannot retreat. I'm going to break your pots. Judgment. Turn the infidels to ash. Fuck your belongings. This is a mere parlor trick. Please play DMC 2. I mean, maybe at some point I'll stream the DMC games. Why are, why are you all spilling DMC like that? You only use that spelling when you're talking about the shitty Ninja Theory remake. And Lee Ray just breaks into a man's home and just starts breaking all of his pots. Really, we're playing the villain. Of course, Chat probably supports that. Let's see if I can block this. Yep. This will eventually kill him. Joey Clay, are we looking at the same thing? <laughs> what can a man of your indecision hope to achieve by defeating me? All I desire is an end to the chaos. <laughs> you fool. The Han's days are over. Defeating me won't stop anything at all. Perhaps that is so. But wherever people are suffering, I will be there. <laughs> you are so naive, you poor deluded fool. That naivety of yours will bring great suffering to those close to you. Ugh. John Jao has one cutscene in this game for each route, and it's great every time. <laughs> and then he's gone. <laughs> His body movements are great. I wish they showed more of that instead of focusing on Liu Bei's stern face. And just gyrating around. Was his dream to save the people and the land itself 
destined to go unrealized? Thanks in large part to the uh, yeah, this is the only stage where you actually play as Liu Bei. Rebellion came to a much welcomed end. Afterwards, he continued and to fight for like the longest time, people, we're just going to be playing Zheng Fei, Guan Yu, and Zhao Yun. It's a while before we actually play anyone Meanwhile, else. The Han Imperial Court lost the last vestiges of its authority and influence. It was then that the uh, yeah, I reset on stats. rose up. We must slay the ten eunuchs who are responsible for this corruption. He gathered together various warlords and eliminated the eunuchs. However, an even greater threat loomed over the assembled warlords. And that threat had a name, Dong Zhuo, a brutal warlord feared far and wide. Dong Zhuo, You're the only one who missed this narrator, not for your sake. No, everyone misses him, he's great. Through violence and fear. Though he still got to appear in the game. In response, he, uh, he still Xiao voices one guy. assembled the various warlords and formed a coalition against the tyrant. Rather than lament the endless chaos, Liu Bei wished to help the people who were suffering. <laughs> Yuan Xiao going for the high chaos ending again. Oh, yeah, I forgot and I discovered so, him Liu slaughtering Bei, the eunuchs. Guan Yu and Zhang Fei found themselves heading to join the allied camp. Before the Sworn Brothers stood the formidable gates of Su Shui and Hu Lao. Yeah, once you know that uh, Huang Gai and the narrator are the same guy, you can kind of hear it in their voice. The stare off. <laughs> the close up. <laughs> I see one or two famous faces here today. Yes. Not only do we have Yuan Shao, the leader of the Alliance, but its instigator, Cao Cao, as well. Yuan Shu, Sun Jian. Quite a list of dignitaries. Ha. And yet our brother is still unknown. At least, until we defeat Dong Zhuo here today, that is. Zhang Fei with the power stance. I'm glad at least Guan Yu doesn't get it. Of course, it's all to help brother make a name for himself. Any personal satisfaction I get is merely a bonus. Try not to get ahead of yourself. Our actions reflect on brother, whether for better or for worse. You think I don't know that? Man, you guys need to lighten up a little. I think there's like a, a very slight echo to the voice lines. I guess because they're in the mountains. Come on already. I can't stand waiting around here much longer. The people are suffering at the hands of Dong Zhuo. We must defeat him in order to save them. The people. My lord, it's me. Don't you remember me? After you saved me, I volunteered. Today's my first day in the army. He's going to be around for a while. I'm surprised to see so many warriors here. If I can stand out from the crowd, I will be rewarded handsomely. Favorite Jin character that isn't Simi Yi? Uh, probably Jia Chong. So that's Cao Cao. Look at his eyes. They're so cold and calculating. Things are not finished just because we defeated Dong Zhuo. The chaos will continue until we can plant the lasting roots of peace. Hmm. Can I help you with something? I don't think there's anyone else stand out here. Just a bunch of lieutenants and peasants. Alright, let's see. Upgrade his moveset a bit. Well, one extra attack, really. Yeah, these weapons are fine.
Rest assured, we are fighting for the most righteous of causes. Fear not, step forth and be proud, for to battle we march. We must defeat Dong Zhua and rescue the suffering people. Our first target is Sushui Gate. I do wonder what would happen if I don't rescue Yuan Chu. If he can actually die. Or if it'll be like, uh, more modern warriors games down. where the stage just won't progress until you do the thing. Is there no one who has the courage to stand up to Hua Xiong? Fight me now for glory! I must retreat! This is not the end! Fun to use moveset, pretty reliable. A little on the slow side, but it's got good power and range. Basically how he's always been. Now, someone asking which I prefer. Uh, yeah, I prefer this because it's, uh, more unique than the bike. A bunch of par characters end up getting the pike in this game. Whereas Guan Yu is the only one that has this, so it, you know, feels like his moveset. I'm fine with it on Lu Ming, though. Well, I tried to stream Dance Warrior 7E. I... no. I, I don't really like playing Empire's games most of the time. I have enjoyed the screens I've done with them more than I thought I would, but... I, I think the newer ones would just be annoying. They're a lot less interesting cutting out cutscenes and a lot of uh, unique stuff to that the older ones had. Like, I'm pretty sure we're not going to have any, like, sword fighting tournaments. Like, or tea ceremony tournaments that Samurai Warriors 2 Empires had. That was great. The debate ceremony. Five brain hit That was great. <laughs> the guy that ended up winning the tea ceremony was the guy that was just like, How do I use chopsticks? <laughs> like, how could you possibly won? I claim another victory in the name of my brother. How am I? I'm good, Risky. Thank you for asking. Come on, man. Remember, we are the proud oh yeah, I haven't used Guan Yu's yet. yet. It's just a buff, so... Kinda boring, actually, use. It's a good buff, though. Ah, you are truly an inspiring sight to behold. You want Chao's a lot of screen time for Zerky 3. Uh, I think he's got a decent amount. I wouldn't say a lot. And the supplies still not arrived. I'm starving. Yuan Shu was charged with the responsibility for sending in the supplies. Let's pay him a visit. I'll try clearing out the rest of the map and then go save Yuan Chu later. See what happens. But if I defeat every other enemy officer and you want you still alive, then I'm not gonna wait for him to die. I've done that before in other Warriors games when recording videos for them trying to find something unique to happen. Especially in Warriors 1 and 2. And most times it takes forever. It's only in the older Dynasty Warriors games where Enemies attacking officers are actually real threats. Don't make me laugh. Or very scripted instances in newer games. You will learn to regret this moment. Great job. Now it's my I'm gonna do where's Archie 3 you. I'm gonna do the special dialogue. I'm probably not gonna make any special dialogue videos for them. Because one, there's a lot less special dialogue in those games, and, uh, the dialogue isn't as fun. 
Because in Warriors Earth, you one and two, the English cast really had fun with the lines. Uh, but with Warriors Earth 3 being sub only, it's a lot more standard. And you can tell what that was written. Oh, are these gates locked? Can I actually not progress forward until I. I'll try going around. See if that works. Oh, and also the special lines in Warriors Earth 3. You can just see those in Muso Battlefield. Just go to any given stage, and you can just shift through the dialogue in like the edit command or whatever. All this running around. If the front gate is closed, I swear. The front gate is closed. Alright, yeah, this is one of those instances you basically have to... ...have to do the thing to progress. Dice Warriors 8 will almost be a decade old. Uh, yeah. That doesn't feel as old as it is. Well, it did get re-released a bunch. It's taken care of. <laughs> it took them so long to land. Yeah, path is cleared. Hmm. It looks like the way is clear at last. It is time to send in the supply troops. Whereas Urgy 4 doesn't have uh, a Muso Battlefield mode, so I'd have to work pretty hard to find the unique lines in that. But from my experience playing it, there were hardly any unique lines. The newer games are just so heavily scripted. Most of them, like, don't ever account for you playing as other characters. Oh, Dice Warriors 8 actually has some unique lines in free mode, depending on which characters you play. Like, uh, Lu Ling Kui has some lines for Lu Lu's What Is stages, which she normally isn't there for in story mode. Uh, I believe Shu Zhu has some lines in ways hypothetical if you play as him there. For my children's generation, if not for my own. Which is appropriate because in ways hypothetical, he's essentially a way character. Which is cool, I really like that. But what if some dance warriors later great? What ifs are always great. Every game needs to have them. <laughs> you want Chow the protagonist and Dr. Warriors 10. Sure. He actually had a decent story mode in Dr. Warriors 9. I was genuinely surprised they put in that much effort for him. If you're gonna do anything in Dice Warriors 9, I do actually recommend playing Yuan Chow's story. I know, Ha Shang, how I like to feed him. Honestly, I expected that to one shot him. There's only half his HP though. Then you shall have to be removed. I'm coming right through. Just a wimpy jump attack. I do like to actually get to fight him this one, you. You know, just one shot him in the cutscene. <laughs> Dunce Wars 9 is having a thing of Therefore, it's a good game. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh, uh. I think Art Thinking Hypothetical is only DLC, anyways. Like, the only hypothetical things I noticed when playing through, uh, 
Knights Warriors 9 was that some of the endings sort of ended on like a hypothetical instance. Like you won Chaos was like that. The mighty Huashio! I have cut you down on behalf of my lord, Liu Bei! <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Well, Sean gets sent flying. Fine work, Guan Yu. He was in the air for so long, Guan Yu had enough time to finish That's that line. I knew you had it in you. Like, if he was alive, his spine would have shattered into a million pieces. Excellent. Only Hulao Gate is left. I didn't play all the story modes in Dance Warriors 9, so there may be more hypotheticals, and I just don't know about them. Oh, right. This version of the battle just throws you straight at Lubu. Let's just save preemptively. Let's see. I played... I played Cao Cao, Simi Yi, Yuan Chao, and Lubu, and I think that was it. I am sick of weaklings. Come. You know who I am? I am the mighty Zhang Fei. Brother, together we will overcome this beast. Lord Yuan Shao is preparing to lay siege to Hu Lao Gate. While he does so... <laughs> he got his attack out for a keep on charge one, so he just sent me flying. Okay. Easier to win the deadlock this time. Oh, I actually broke his guard with that yet. Nice, go go on you. The Musos, I can deal decent damage to him. But he's about to run off. Yeah, and I can't really stop him due to his hyper armor. <laughs> I like how he's running away and red hair is following. You, you didn't mount red hair. <laughs> Not sure what's running through his head at that point. Okay, now we're waiting for the catapult to get in range. At least we don't have to manually destroy the gate this time. Oh yeah, this mic, uh, it doesn't have a pop filter. Uh, so you are my, next my last one didn't really fit it. Like but it's supposed to have like an internal one to handle I all the stuff a pop filter is supposed to do. Uh, but let me know if, like, it sounds too poppy. Particularly if I say any word with the P in it. I did a bunch just then. <laughs> Not intentionally. Ah, you are truly an inspiring sight to behold, brother. I must follow your lead. I shall return. Remember that! Before yours is the first man I shall see! The EX attack deals a surprising amount of damage, considering he's just a buff. That was like... 25% that enemy so far. I forgot you can still use the D-pad to move around in this game. If you just wanted to play old school, I guess. We're just waiting on them to break Castle Gates, aren't we? Did you hurry up? And now I kind of wish they let me destroy it manually. <laughs> the pop in is really bad on them. Maybe you need to hang around them. Yeah, I did it. One you activated no clip. You can tell he's a great warrior considering he can manipu manipulate the game in this way. I'm not just making it up either. We've seen him use his powers multiple times throughout the Dodge Warrior series. He's actually very good at uh, game designing. All those scripted kills he gets whenever he just looks at Wei Shun and uh, Gan Leong. Alright, who's the other one? It's not... 
Gwincho. That's what I was thinking of. Out of my way. <laughs> no rounds, bad game. This this game may not have any rounds. No, it does. Yeah. We saw one in the stage where we fought you on Chu in the Wu story. It was like a mechanical ramp. Like operating on its own somehow. I'm not sure if it shows up anywhere else. It's nice that you can change the R1 into your regular moveset, just get an extra hit in. I just don't use it that often. I'm so used to Dynasty Warriors 8 where you don't really want to use the R1 as part of your combo. If you want to have, uh, you want to retain weapon advantage. Yeah, that soon same change stage, that was the stage I was talking about. That had the ramp. This one is heroic. I guess I need to pick up the pace. Didn't really need to do that against a few peons, but I did. For the War Three Kingdoms is amazing. I'm just not really into the Total War games. Come and face me. Are really are any RTS games. It's just not a genre for me. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first that I shall see. Out of my way. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. This one is heroic. I guess I need to pick up the pace. Darwin attack is pretty good though. A very swift attack with a lot of range. I feel like there's another stat booster I didn't pick up. There it is. We'll be playing one you a lot, so probably good to pick those up. Any who get in my way will die. Pretty sure they don't have any lines with one you, so. You shall retreat now as planned. As planned. Shut up, Zayong. You are not Jiggle the Yong. You do not get to say that crap. This is not the end. Ah, you are truly an inspiring sight to be. Don't roll with the flail is so weird, because that's a very active moveset. So I guess it's pretty active with the bombs. He has to swing his arm a lot to chuck as many bombs as he does in Dance Warriors 8. I think he has those in Warriors Archer 3 as well. And Guan Yu. Dong Zhuo was driven from the capital. Wan Xiao had an in awesome VA in Dust Warriors 5. He soon uh, yeah, he had the same one in 4 as well. And Warriors Urge 1 too. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty good one, Finally, I think. Oh, Peter have been is his name. From the capital's hallowed confines. However, the damage to the Imperial I think he's still voicing, but uh, not near as much as he used to. to the chaos of countless warlords vying for power. There was one man who was left behind, cut off from the raging storm. It was Liu Bei, who despite his deeds in the battle against Dong Zhuo, still had no land to call his own. And so he sought the aid of an old friend, Gong Sun Zan. For no matter how Liu Bei tried to rescue those around him, the land as a whole would not be healed. Despite his doubts, he could not give up on his desire to help the people. It was then that a request for reinforcements came from Tao Qian of Shu Province. Gong Sun Zan dispatched Liu Bei and his sworn brothers, as well as his own lieutenant, Zhao Yun. Their foe was a man who was attempting to use the chaos to further his own ambitions. He was the one known as the Hero of Chaos, Cao Cao. 
last time I see Don't Vote in story mode. Yeah, I guess it is, because we're not gonna see him at Jin. Thank you, uh, for the like and sub, uh, Pippa Gaming. If he truly is that powerful, then we will have no choice but to eliminate him. That is the message we shall send to Cao Cao in this battle. Lord Liu Bei, it's me. You remember me, right? My village was overrun by the yellow turbans, remember? But if anything, this is even worse. I'm worried about my friend back home. Maybe I'll write a letter. You do that. Who else is hanging out around here? That was a it's me guy. Everyone else just seems to be peasants. Or lieutenants. Look at this place. The bodies are just piling up on each other. It's as Lord Tauchion said. Cao Cao's army is nearly invincible and shows no mercy. He kills every last one of his enemies. That is the only way he knows how to fight a battle. This guy makes me sick. He's nothing like brother. He kills every... Sometimes they'll have a new second line if you talk to him again. Sometimes they don't. Lord Zhao Yun is an example to us all. All right, let's upgrade Renfei. The most we're getting for attacks. See, that's definitely a bit too strong. It was dual misery and dual agony. Lord Not bad Liu weapon Bay names, honestly. Of emotion. To think he would help these people, despite having no relationship to them. Why do you think we follow him? I wish I was as content as you are. You have been blessed to serve such a benevolent lord. In that case, why don't you join us? I'm sure brother would love to have you. Perhaps someday. For now, let us go, Zhang Fei. I have to take out Cao Cao? No problem at all. My lord, Lord Cao Chen is under attack. Oh, hey, good, yeah. I should like to face you in battle. Bye, Gojia. It's about time. <laughs> Just chuck him away. I'm still waiting for a real challenge. Your arrival is most timely. Yeah, I think uh, Jeng Fei's got a pretty good move set. It's similar to Guan Yu in that it's uh, got a lot of range and it's strong, but he definitely swings much faster. Got a little bit less range than Guan Yu. Maybe a little less power as well. Sometimes I forget you are mere flesh and blood. Up and try again. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first. I feel like that should have been his secondary grab. <laughs> he just tosses his weapon aside and just grabs someone and chucks them away. Like Super Mario style too. The enemy the slightest chance. Our defenses must be watertight. No castle. It's already in enemy hands. Pick yourself up and try Leave the castle to us. We'll get him back for you. So you are my next <laughs> These guys are working together to hit me when I'm trying to hit the other one. There we go. In phase, charge one isn't so great for opening enemies out. Because his roar is like extra powerful, but not send me the way. I don't know how I can ever thank you. Don't worry about it. Earth 2 is pretty good at it. It is time for you to 
to make what Cao Cao's men can. First, we must secure the central garrison. Trying to get all the health pick up, or just the item drops. What a stunning display of strength! You have earned my respect. They just keep coming. Concentrate on fulfilling your duty, and you will. His dash attack isn't great. It's got way too much of a wind-up. And that stagger at the end. Leaves him very open. It also makes it harder to capitalize on the enemy he hits with his punch. It does have a guard break effect, so I guess that's how they tried to balance it. You have truly earned your reputation. A display will boost the morale of our but when you can't capitalize on the guard break, who cares? This belongs to my lord. Keep your feet and hands off. Pretty good to keep up the combo with him. With his R1. Considering he jumps forward. So if you knock an enemy away, you can just follow up with that and keep on him. Like taking candy from a baby. A pickly big baby. You must find another path in advance. Thanks. I think last time I came back to help Zhao Yun, but I don't think there were any lines for it. to the front. I didn't even think to try that, honestly. You will carry our honor across the land. I think the door was closed until those enemies came back. Sure, I'll beat these guys and try that. See what happens. Than you know. Do not underestimate them. Don't worry, brother. When we're all together, well, geez, no come on. Quit chasing Liu Bei. I like Chad talking about Aristocrat spoiling something and yeah, a game that we've heard the story repeated so many times. <laughs> Why did you spoil an event from 1800, 18,000 years ago? Well, no, I guess 1800 would have been the right way to word that. Aristocrat trying to ban himself. Spelt your name wrong, though. We're taking over that area. Oh, Libby just spawns once you move up. 
It didn't matter which way you go. I have heard he is wandering the land. Perhaps he is looking for a place to call home. Pick yourself up and try again. Your prowess is I doubt I have ever seen anything like it. Sudden crush them all. That yeah, because Blue Boo showed up. I will cut a path for my lord. And any who get in my way will be cut down too. Yeah, and he just books it straight for uh straight for Satsau. Is one that should never be It is always amusing just have such a basic grab as an attack. Just spin the enemy around and toss him aside. Oh, you just reached another level of brilliance. Shane do I think had the best generic officer designs. You can outsmart me. Don't make me laugh. Four, honestly. So that may be just because I just happen to like those models the most. Because I like Dance Warriors 4 so much. I'm still waiting for a real I think everything from 7 and up looks very bland. Mostly because they tried to make them bland so they could like make small edits to them. The more characters look more and more different. But they look more boring as a result, at least to me. I'm still waiting. A lot of people do like threes, generic. Buffoons like yourself, waging wars without purpose, who render my approach the only valid one. You think you can just bend this land to your will? Try it with me then. Keep forgetting how quickly South Sao dies compared to Dion Wei. I just kind of blanked out when I entered here, didn't realize he was getting so low to health. Get out of here. I'm pretty sure that was the first time, too. This land now. You can't ride roughshod over it anymore. To fight Tao Tao, use me. He needs to be shown just how strong I am. We can't let an animal like that join us. Lu Bu is a man without a home. We cannot simply turn our backs on him. Your kindness will get you killed. Ying Fei is like, we can't let an animal like that join us, but then we have Wei Yan join us. Liu Bei and Zhang Fei earned a hard-fought victory. And we have a literal animal join us with Shu. red hair. Afterward, Tao Qian bequeathed the lands of Shu to Liu Bei before he passed away. Finally, Liu Bei had a land to call his own. Meanwhile, Cao Cao had taken yet another step toward conquering the land. For he had taken the emperor into his custody. Oh yeah, that's where Sivs did have some good generic designs. Army. Yeah, the strategy just looks great. The, plight of the, the older one. Liu Bei came to a compromise with Cao Cao. The uh, the and voice for that particular strategy is really good Cao too. Cao, he did battle across the Gong as a generic, and that is great. 
It was then that a dark shadow appeared to block Liu Bei from carrying out his orders. Lu Bu, who had been under Liu Bei's protection, used his absence to raise an army of his own. And within the blink of an eye, he had captured Shu. Once again, Liu Bei was forced to wander the land until Cao Cao offered his assistance. He agreed to take in Liu Bei and his sworn brothers and mobilized his troops. Oh, the One Piece Zhu. video went up. Yeah. <laughs> Still Liu playing Bei two games at the same time. was grateful for Cao Cao's <laughs> generosity. And together they set out for Xiaopi. I said those videos no to go up well in advance. Cruel, cold, and calculating I also play them well in advance. Lay within Cao Cao's One person, heart. I think, Asosa, uh, asked me to play, like, Nico Robin for the next stage. But, like, I've already finished the game by now. <laughs> I'm not making any more videos in it. That game is so boring, by the way. I hated playing it. I hear that Zhang Liao is a most capable warrior. Such a man seems wasted serving Lu Bu. We've received a report from our scouts. It appears that an unknown army is headed this way. I'd bet my life that they are enemy reinforcements. We must hurry and bring an end to this battle. Dahoon losing an eye off screen. You're gonna pay for stealing our brother's land. Everybody, no one touches Lu Bu except for me. I never expected Cao Cao to aid us in reclaiming Shu. I must convey my gratitude to him. Lord Liu Bei, it's me. You remember me, right? I got a letter back from my friend. Turns out her family was all okay. And so I wrote back to her. And I asked her to marry me after this battle. Hey, I could be dead tomorrow. I have to live while I can. Good thing, ancient Yukari. <laughs> just as the as the it's me guy, that voice really just sounds like Shinji to me. Shiapi just a bit too happy. <laughs> surrounded by water. If we flood it, it will quickly fall before us. Then we simply need to finish off Lu Bu once he's exhausted his troops. However, Lu Bu is one of the mightiest warriors this land has ever seen. Even if our plan is successful, we mustn't let down our guard. Indeed, most perceptive of you. However, we have no time to waste. We must begin the attack. Oh yeah, I forgot the upgrade on you. Let me just do that real quick. <laughs> Must have big pans to be able to play two, two controllers at once. Uh, yeah, I'm the size of, like, one of the giants in One Piece. I'm Whitebeard size in real life. We will begin our assault on Chiapi Castle. Guan Yu, this will be your chance to prove your worth. So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. So I like how Sao was like, this will be your chance to prove your worth, Guan Yu, when he's already defeated Hua Shong and fought off Lu Bu before. Oh yeah, this is the stage with all those ballistas. Yeah, they kind of rinsed me before. I do not look forward to dealing with them again. Let's just get it over with. Ballista has been set up on the castle wall. We must destroy it to assist our allies' progress. Not gonna bother fighting the officers with them up there. What am I? Okay. I was stuck in a bench that was underwater. Barely see it. Our flood attack has destroyed the peasants' crops. How can this be the right thing to do? We must focus on the battle at hand. When Lu Bu is gone, the people will be happy. You traitor, Lu Bu! Hey, that's treachery. one. They just keep bombarding you. Especially annoying when they send you flying. Out of my way. I was hoping they'd be close enough to hit both of those. I don't think it was. An unknown army 
is approaching rapidly from the south. Luckily, one of them is focused on a guy downstairs. Ah. Come on. Oh boy, speed boost. I'm not gonna attack, attack that one if it's not even focusing on me. I'll come back for it. Damn it. Try to move out of its out of its range. There we go. Oh hey, Shuji. You believe your wits are a match for mine. Ow. That time two will certainly help right now. Oh come on, that was a mile away from me. Alright. That wasn't as bad as last time. <laughs> when your raw aura kills someone. Ah, you are truly an inspired. One you possesses the conqueror's hacky. I must follow your lead. Oh, you don't get not bad if you're on a horse? I assumed it would knock you off a bit, like, instantly. I'll try that next time. How am I liking One Piece Pirate Warriors 4? Uh, I'm not. <laughs> I think I made that very clear in the descriptions. Fight. Like how Guan Yu said, like, why have you sided with Lu Bu? As if Zhang Liao hasn't already been fighting alongside Lu Bu for like the past three battles. guys were supposed to be attacking South Sal, but they just came after me and completely ignored attacking him. This is the perfect opportunity to strike. Lu Bu's time is up. You're taking forever to kill this one guy, dude. Most impressive, I must say. I could stand to learn a thing or two from you. One is heroic. I guess I need to pick up the Which is where is PW4 SW3? You really like to ask that. You like me to compare everything I don't like to Samurai Warriors 3. Samurai Warriors 3 is worse. Like, Pirate Warriors 4 isn't terrible. It's just boring. Which is kind of worse than being terrible, because I have less to say about it. But this W3, I very clearly explained the things I don't like about it. And you can see it easily at a glance. The same for like Dance Warriors 9. It's harder to do that with Pirate Warriors 4. Because it's it's a game that's like just made to look flashy. But that's all it's made for. It just felt like a cash grab for like the newest stuff One Piece was doing at the time. Remember that! For yours is the first head I shall see! Ah, you are truly an inspiring sight to behold. Some licensed warriors games are really good. Uh, Persona 5 Strikers is great. I highly recommend playing that. Uh, let's see. I think Dragon Quest Heroes 1 and 2 are both pretty good, too, especially. Pirate Warriors 1, that was actually really good. That had a lot of unique stuff, and it felt more like its own thing. Like, it had its own identity as far as warriors games were played. 
Sort of similar with Ken's Rage one as well, but that's pretty unique. And it does have some stuff I like, especially all the what ifs. Like the what if with uh, Jaggy is great. We just become best bros with Hamua. So Ken's Rage, Ken's Rage 1 is extremely repetitive. It's really hard to get into. I kind of wouldn't recommend it if, if you're not already a Fist of North Star fan. Or a big Warriors fan, one or the other. Maybe both. What are the other licensed Warriors games? I love that line. Let me help you, Come at me in the thousands. The boo's not super buffed up this time, so he's not too hard to beat. He doesn't have that hyper mode armor. See, there's a Fire Emblem Warrior King as well. First one, did not enjoy it all. The story was atrocious. The gameplay was very repetitive. So many clone movesets. Uh, the Three Houses spinoff? I think that one was alright. That Musou even damage him. I like how far away can hit him. Oh dear. <laughs> that one-shotted me the last time he did this. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's what I get for not taking Lugu seriously. I think he's killed me the most in this game than any other so far. At least instead of screamed. <laughs> Just float away. <laughs> At least I managed to save that time. <laughs> Skill issue. Yeah. There's not much you can do about it if you don't have a Muso at the ready. Is that try not to juggle him? Because if he gets juggled and, like, he does his air Muso, it's unblockable, so block is not going to do anything. So you need, like, iframes, or to be a speed character that can double jump away. But even then, it has a lot of range. So you may not be able to get far enough away, depending on how close you are to when he starts it. Maybe certain characters could spam R1 for the entirety of the attack, but uh, most characters can't. They're just right for a wild animal. Shahu Dwin. Fine work. Oh, nice. Captain actually showed up. <laughs> Had a good time, I think. <laughs> then use me. The world will be yours. Have some dignity, Lu Bu. Die like a man of courage and integrity. Kill Lu Bu. Tao Tao! Curse you! Why? <laughs> Look at all the guy that takes to real Lu Bu so, in. Would you have shown mercy to that animal? That was at minimum five people behind him. Kill me. I am ready to die. No. Stand, Zhang Liao. You will be an integral part of my plans. After defeating Lu Bu at Xiapi, Liu Bei and his yeah, that was very much a wake up scene. By Cao Cao. However, Liu Bei was unable to clear the uneasiness from his heart. He chastised himself for being too kind oh, to Song. All Liu Bei did was kind of stand there. The cold cruelty of Cao Cao. It was then that a secret order arrived from the Emperor. Cao Cao must be slain. It was a cry for help from the Emperor himself, who had grown weary of Cao Cao's tyranny. Liu Bei thought to himself, 
If he were to slay Cao Cao, to whom he was so indebted, then he would be no better than Liu Bu. As Liu Bei struggled with his indecision, oh, thank you for joining the uh, warriors thing, Adrian. Shu, who had attempted to usurp the imperial throne, having bided his time. Yeah, I think we've got like five Zhao or six Zhao, emotes right now. Saw this as a perfect Two people joined, so I think I can. Together I think that's enough troops, to add at least one more emote. A rebellion in Shu. However, the See, we're playing the Jin story next. So maybe I'll add a Jin character. Bei. Cao Cao's massive army <laughs> I do love Lubu just checking Pepsi. Defeat. And during the course of the battle, he lost track of Guan Yu as well. Oh, I don't like Pepsi at all. It's like my least favorite soft drink. The chaos continued to torment him. A man of <laughs> but I like that Lubu's drinking it. And, purity. <laughs> and so he sought the help of He's so Yuan badass Zhao, he can drink a soft drink that's terrible. Cao Cao. You can just chug it. He soon found himself on the fields of Guandu. Going on gaming Zhao emote. Zhao yeah, I guess. Were I guess that's inevitable, huh? Battle. As he prepared for this great conflict, he quietly cursed his lack of strength. What's the origin of that photo? I assume you mean the Blue Boo Pepsi one. Essentially, uh, Dynasty Only Warriors just had a to do promotion with Pepsi. With all the strength I had. I believe it was for Dynasty Warriors next. Frontier was like a Japan-only promotion. Much blood spilled, and now Guan Yu may be dead. Because those things always are. God, just uproots a tree. All I ever wanted. <laughs> was to help the suffering of the people, however I could. Zero reaction from Liu Bei. <laughs> Zhang Fei must do this a lot for Liu Bei to have no reaction. Xiao Yu! I am here, my lord, to join you in your cause as I promised. You would? Why? You could have looked the other way, but you didn't. That is why. Thank you. <laughs> Bro thinks he's Tao Pai Pai. <laughs> yeah, he's just trying to toss the log and jump on it at the same time. He can only get the tossing down right. Even then, he can't toss it far. Zhao Yun, I am pleased that you have come to join us. However, because of me, Guan Yu is missing. You need not say anything more, my lord. Lord Guan Yu will return to your side in time. You simply need to be patient. You're right. Please forgive my moment of weakness. This doesn't bode well. It really has got brother down. Ugh, I feel like smashing something. Let's see, uh, no trees around. You're out of luck. Zhao Yun. I uh. My lord, my lord, remember me? My friend wrote back to me. Uh, yeah, she said something about just being friends. Ooh. But I'm not giving up. If we win this war and I become a hero, she'll change her mind for sure. But I'm not giving. Those we have around here. Oh, hey, Wincho. No man can stand against the likes of Yan Liang and myself. Not even Cao Cao and all of his troops. I don't care who stands before us. They will all fall like lambs to the slaughter. And who are you? Go to. Come on, you wet blankets. Cao Cao's not going to defeat himself. Hey, I think that's it. Let's equip Zhao Yun. Yeah, that's a bit too strong. And let's level him up. Ooh. 
we have enough to get his second Muso? We do not, unfortunate. Oh well. Next battle. Cao Cao, for too long now you have stood in my way. Finally, I will rid myself of your meddlesome presence. Your pathetic army is nothing before me. Now you shall witness the power of the nobility. Come, Zhao Yun. Let's blow Cao Cao's army away. I think my horse spawned inside the fort. Go and assist our allies. Hurry. Oh, well, Eugene just came straight towards me, huh? Fight me now for glory. I quite enjoy Yuyun's move sets in Seven of Supreme Legends and Eight. This is not the end. It feels very stylistic with the Bendy Spear. You can see Zhao Yun use attacks at the Bend the Spear quite a lot in like cutscenes for various Warriors games. So it's nice to have his moves that actually reflect that more. I think they first started that in Dynasty Warriors 5, where his true Muso would have him like bend the spear when he does that launching attack. If I'm recalling it correctly, I could be wrong. Very fast and got pretty good coverage. And you can chain to his charge one Another very quickly. We owe him a debt of gratitude. His orders must be obeyed at once. Try to live up to your example. Yeah, the attack well into his air square as well. Fine work. You're not too shabby. Chat Fei just raising his weapon up. And Xiao Yun's floppy spear. <laughs> floppy is a good word for it. I guess I'll head straight to Wu Chao. If I were to head south, I imagine I wouldn't be able to get past uh, the castle gates. Considering the direction this stage is about to take. Guan Yu awaits a challenge. Come and face me if you dare. You! are not so much of a fool that you would not have heard of us. Surely you have realized you cannot win and have come to beg for mercy. Silence. Your heads will make a fine offering of gratitude to Lord Sao Tsao. Just the immediate oh, knockout. One swing. Two of the strongest officers in Yuan Chao's army. And then he's gone. Guan Yu, you're alive! Yeah, but it looks like he's working for Cao Cao. What is the meaning of this new day? I What's my favorite Guan soundtrack in all of Warriors? Brother. Uh... You have betrayed me! You have ruined Again, four everything. or eight. Capture Liu Bei at once! And yeah, this is when <laughs> Yuan Xiao's entire army not only turns on us, but they go out of her way to stop attacking Cao Cao and come after us. It's aligned with Zhang Hei. I'm waiting for it to trigger. Of course, it's taking forever. There we go. Ugly word. I only hope you have some reason for your actions. If you don't get out of my way, yeah, no response from it seems. 
I am a fortunate man to have you on my side, Zhao Yun. Yeah, last time I played, I tried to keep away from Liu Bei and just charge one Zhao to see what happened. And he just died. He does not last on his own at all. He's Liu Bei, come on. It's, it's a fence, Liu Bei. Figure it out. Our ruler, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, let's look at uh, the forces. These Liu Bei's forces versus... Oh, now it says Yuan and Sao forces, okay. I swear I didn't do that before. I swear the last time I played this, it showed, uh, it showed us still as Yuan Chao's forces. Oh well. Maybe it glitched the first time and made it a lot more hilarious. There was probably a line with Zhang Liao. Oh well. I'll crush you like all of the others. Come on, keep moving. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall seek. So, you are the famous Liu Bei. My father considers you a dangerous element. I think I will erase you. I shall own the Selfie just takes out an eraser. Take off. I am sure there is a good explanation for this. We must have faith. I'd be impressed if anyone could kill another man with an eraser. Let us continue. I love Yuan Shao just devoting everything to go after Liu Bei. It's so ridiculous. Nice job, but still not quite up to my level. You have proven yourself a raving beast. Now I shall cage you. So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. Yeah, Yuan Chao reappeared. Not still saying... The... Yeah, it's not so even showing Yuan Chao as commander this time. I swear it did that the last time. Maybe it had something to do with me making an interim save and reloading that. Maybe that screwed it up. You will learn to regret this moment. I shall own the battle! I like how Zhang Fei is set to follow me and not Liu Bei. Not necessarily to lose. Even though he's currently getting sworn. Stand your ground, traitors. I will execute you where you stand. You thought you could escape? I shall own the Everybody, follow me to victory. Liu Bei is like, follow me to victory as he just runs into a fence. It appears we have managed to give our pursuers the slip. It's good to see you safe, my lord. Don't worry about me. What about Guan Yu? Damn. That idiot! How could he fight for Cao Cao? I'll kill him! That is enough. But, brother! Feng Fei just learned firebending, apparently. I will wait. Brother! We must have faith. I know in my heart that one. His anger was so much, it over. set the forest on fire. And it definitely wasn't the flames from Wu Chao catching up to them. That would be silly. Without Liu Bei at Guangdu, Cao Cao emerged victorious. He 
seized the Central Plains and became the largest force in all of the land. Meanwhile, thanks to the efforts of Zhao Yun, Liu Bei was able to escape the clutches of Yuan Shao and Cao Cao. Searching for a land of his own, he called upon Liu Biao of Jin Province. With no troops or land, Liu Bei had been abandoned by the fates. However, there was still one man who had not yet abandoned him. The narrator's talking about the it's me guy. You just hear, it's me! Guan Yu! Hmm. So he's really sided with Cao Cao. All right. You know, I always wanted to fight you one time. Zhang Fei, perhaps another time, my friend. What? Won you prepare to die? <laughs> Those guys followed him all the way here, like slow walking behind him. <laughs> and then when they don't manage to get the drop on him. Brother. They s he sends three last, guys flying and just a whole battalion last runs I off. Have found you. One you. My place is here. Beside you, my lord and brother. It's like in a Souls game when you're following, like, a strong enemy <laughs> down their patrol route, trying to get a I sneak attack it. in on them. I knew it! Get that backstab in. Our brother would Whether they turn around friends. or it doesn't work, so you Keep just bail. Down. Just give up. Back to the bonfire. Try again. Knew that. <laughs> it's so hard to fight, it's not worth it if you don't get the drop on them. I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring lately. <laughs> a man for whom reality <laughs> fell far short of his idealistic dreams. He desperately sought an answer to his problems. After Liu Bei fled to Jing, Liu Biao granted him the land of Xinye. For the first time since the chaos had begun, he finally had a place to call home. And there, it could have used an arrow against him. Yeah, in a cutscene, it would have been a death sentence. His dream of helping to ease the people's suffering, the cruel reality that he had not accomplished nearly enough. He needed someone who could provide him with a way to turn his dream into a reality. <laughs> oh yeah, I forget one you and Liu Bei's voice actor are the same. In the center of the land was bustling with travelers coming and going. The voice actor does really Despite good at making them sound and Liu feel Bei different. Would not easily find his answer there. Then, suddenly, Liu Bei's days of peaceful reflection came to a crashing end. His rude awakening came at the hands of Cao Cao, who was practical to the point of cruelty and had no qualms about using power to take what he wanted. Together with Zhang Fei and his allies, Liu Bei stood before the encroaching threat of Cao Cao's army. Would his ideals be swallowed by the depths of Cao Cao's ambition? Mighty armies now encroach upon Jing province. Cao Cao's methods are heartless and cruel. But, what should I do? Maybe you're overthinking things. <laughs> you need to do things your own way. You'll always have us on your side. Interesting. If he had the sleeping dragon in his ranks, Liu Bei would be unstoppable. And who are you? <laughs> I have to imagine, and who are you? And then Jane Fei just walks off and initiates the battle. Doesn't get an answer. Who the hell are you? I 
I will get to that eventually. But first, we must defeat Cao Cao. Well, that goes without saying. But why are you the one giving the orders? I harbor no ill will towards Lord Liu Bei. I simply am asking you to trust me. Xu Xu is a talented strategist. He is certain to assist our Lord's efforts. Hmm. I wonder. <laughs> Xu Xu says he'll say who he is later, and he just never does. Xu Xu is a. T Has to hear it from someone else. Is Cao Cao the one destined to rule the land? If so, then I fear this chaos will never come to an end. However, I possess not the strength to oppose him. This is my chance, yet I am unable to take advantage of it. Is this as far as I am fated to come? Brother. Is this as... My lord, it's me. I've been promoted to captain. And have you met my wife? She's just over here. Cheer up, my lord. It'll happen for you, too. Uh... <laughs> like, his wife is just, like, a moth, like, <laughs> with a face colored on it. Because there ain't no one here. <laughs> he got rejected so hard, he started to lose snake. <laughs> Okay, just a bunch of lieutenants here. Who cares what they have to say? All right, then. Let's go and do this. I'll plow through Cao Cao's army by myself if I have to. Understood. Our enemy is Cao Cao. A frontal assault is too dangerous. We will divide into three units. I will go south. Zhao Yun, you go north. That leaves Zhang Fei from the center. Yes, I will assist him. Come, Lord Zhang Fei. All right. Upgraded Musa. Get that second Musa. If my brothers are okay with it, then so am I. But that doesn't mean I trust you, all right? I Uh, yeah, Juju wasn't playable in Dynasty Warrior 7, or 7 M Extreme Legends. He was playable in Dynasty Warrior 7 Empires. That's when he first, first playable. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall see. Uh, no, this game doesn't have any what-if scenarios, which is disappointing. Down that formation. My lord, please head to the southeast. First, we must break the southeastern. Route, so, this stage is basically just like the same stage in That's Where It's Eight. This is pretty confusing. I guess I'll just do what you say. Just following his advice to get past this eight gates formation. But I think in eight, the eight gates formation is more unique looking. It's not just a bunch of spike fences put in the middle of a field. Like, I'd hardly consider any of this to be gates. Panic is starting to set in. I don't know anything about the actual strategy. I don't know if it actually requires a literal gate. Finally, if we strike their northernmost unit, the entire formation should crumble. I know how to break the enemy's formation. Defeat the enemy. Well, I guess I'd better give it a try. Yeah, it's not that's warrior six, so it can't lower a gate. Or, uh, Drawbridge by just attacking it. A little lower shortly, though. We'll just wait for it. Yeah, this map is just one castle map, except they have the eight gates plopped down. Oh yeah, if you get too close to the spikes, it'll actually hurt you. Yeah, you too. So how 
come you're helping us out anyway? I wish to bring Lord Liu Bei and Zhuge Liang together. That is all. Oh, that's why you forget waiting for that to open. Damn it. Oh, now it lowers. Oh, and they beat him anyways. Okay. Well, who cares? Their formation has been broken, and the enemy commander is fleeing the battlefield. You're out here all alone? I welcome such carelessness in the ranks of my enemies. I must retreat. Oh, that's right. I guess I could have just done that the wrong way to piss off you too. I didn't even think about doing that. Yeah, because there was no gates actually in the way, so I could have easily just didn't done that. Damn. Maybe next time. That said, I don't know when I'll ever... Oh, Sao Hong was a commander, huh. I don't know when I'd ever play Dice Warrior 7 again. I played it a bunch. Alone, we would have struggled mightily. This is thanks to Shu Shu, to the power of intelligence. If you say so. My role here is over. But why? Why won't you stay as our strategist? Juga Liang is a reclusive genius. He has the ability to see the bigger picture. I am a mere amateur beside him. You must secure his cooperation. was a battle of minds. Xuxu cleverly directed the bravery of Zhang Fei and the others, and successfully repelled Cao Cao's army. If you say so, narrator. It was he who recommended to Liu Bei... That's probably the, the shortest stage in this, if you're not counting the, uh, Liang. the initial, like, two-minute stage. Liu he had finally found the man... Where you just defeat, like, three or two officers. For. However, despite paying two visits to Juga Liang's home, he still had been unable to meet him. Zhang Fei and Guan Yu were deeply offended, but Liu Bei continued on, paying yet another visit to the home. For if it would help him save the people, he would pay as many visits as it took. And so, it was then that Liu Bei finally found his answer. Oh yeah, I forgot she has a bunch of their, like, CG cut things back to back. Here's where the benevolence really starts. This is your third visit. What is it that you want so badly from me? I wish to benefit from your wisdom. Tell me what must be done. I know what I want to do. I want to ease the people's suffering, but... But you save one person, and it just brings suffering to another. What should I do? <laughs> Benevolence is a tricky thing. Benevolence means valuing the feelings of the people over efficiency or profit. Cao Cao's way is to seize control of the land through brute force. 
while your path leads the people to a land of benevolence. Your path is that of a true leader of men. But to make it more than just a dream, you must have the courage to unite the land. I fear I am incapable, my lord. If you truly want to make it happen, then listen, for I can help you. I love how chat is keeping track of how many times benevolence was said. Apparently it was said like five times in that one cutscene. A world of virtue ruled by righteousness. Nerid is avoiding it, he's smart. That was the goal that Juga Liang put before Liu Bei. However, with his current strength, such a world was but a far-off dream. His weakness was underscored by the fact that Cao Cao's army had once again launched an attack on the province of Jing. Although Zhuge Liang's clever tactics allowed them to avoid catastrophe, Liu Bei's future seemed grim indeed. Following Liu Biao's death, his successor Liu Song surrendered to Cao Cao. With nothing left to fight for, Liu Bei fled from Cao Cao's army and headed south. Time was of the essence, but something was slowing down the pace of his army's march. The reason? Liu Bei had taken all of the people from Jing with him. His virtue served as a beacon for the downtrodden. And Liu Bei too refused to give up on his comrades, who dreamed like he did of a world of peace. Slowed down by the people, Liu Bei's army was finally caught by Cao Cao at Changban. Was the world of virtue destined to end as a dream before the overwhelming might of Cao Cao's army? Liu Bei and Zhao Yun, as well as the people themselves, were about to be tested. Bring him to safety. You must keep moving. Just throwing you into the stage. Although first, unlock that second Musa. We must get to him before South South forces do. We are now playing the opening. I said it's going to be about half as interesting. I thought I had Muso available, so I was trying to Muso there for a second. Yeah, you know what? This is also my favorite Cheng Bon music. I say that just because I only have to play Cheng Bon twice. 
So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. I just I hate Chen Bond at this point. Playing so many Warriors games, having to replay it so many damn times, it's awful. Especially in Dynasty Warriors 5. Everyone has it in Dynasty Warriors 5. So infuriating. Alright, let me in. Hey! You there! Please help me! Yeah, I remember from last time. You have to specifically approach this gate to get let in. Instead of it just opening on its own like every other gate in the game does. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall see. Another obstacle in the path of justice has fallen before me. Now it's, like it's probably not close enough. Nah. Thank you so much. I tried the double jump with Jiao Yun. I'm not sure if I haven't unlocked yet. I'm sure I don't. Liu Bei's son is here somewhere. Find him. That's where it's King Bond. A lot of people have it in Dynasty Warrior 6, but not every single character has a Musa mode in Dynasty Warrior 6, so much more bearable there. My lord. Don't worry. I will keep you safe, little one. I swear it. On my life. Another obstacle in the path of justice has fallen before me. Yeah, I guess you're just supposed to assume that uh, Liu Shan is strapped to uh, Zhao Yun's chest right now. There's no need to stay here any longer. We must flee on horseback. Yeah, you can get all the credit for rescuing this baby, but Yi Yi is following him, like, right behind. He's going on foot. What a champ. As much as I detest the idea of attacking a man carrying a child, I cannot let you leave. Now it's my chance. Bridge. He should be home free. I don't need this much damage to him. I don't even have my strongest weapons equipped. Chat is so predictable. You get the Chang Bon and all they talk about is killing pilots. Even when we're playing his shoe. Remember when Leo Shan gave you 60 second infinite moves though? Yeah, and it was really fun. Uh, I kinda hate that that stopped being a thing. So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. <laughs> Xiao Yun goes through all the songs and just for Liu Bei to slam Liu Shan on the ground. <laughs> Use roar. 
super effective. I don't even know if Roar is a Pokemon <laughs> move. It probably is. Bring it on! Probably wouldn't deal damage, probably just buff attack. He really can just generate fire, can't he? Time to just rack up a bunch of kills. Bye bye. We had the upper hand. I was never a match for him. Do enjoy the charge set. I don't want really to get too far away from the bridge. Come and get it. You will learn to regret this moment. So many drops. You must be halfway there by now. Just a little longer. And now no one's here. All right, I'm moving up. Come and get it. Yeah, I was pretty sure moving up caused so like engineers to appear. This battle will soon be over. Follow my lead. All forces. Advance. Man, just that punch to the back. Getting hit that that hard that you just bounce forward. That goes very differently for Zhang Liao on the wayside. So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. I shall return. Remember that. You sure you can't figure out how to get how to get out. <laughs> Running back and forth between the the rock and the tree. Hey, do this. Please help me. Leave it to me. One who's causing all this trouble. You have truly earned your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. Don't you fucking ignore me. Okay, well, he didn't. It is impossible for an army to continue fighting on an empty stomach. Pick yourself up and try again. So you would face me in battle, would you? Very well. Come yeah, well, the only one they got across the bridge was a corpse, so that's fine. Please block. Okay, Ardo. Ow. Fortunately, that wasn't a Muso from Lubu, so it was survivable. So still, that was half my HP. And not all the attacks connected. And the Musos are strong in this game. Be nice to reach a thousand kills. But I don't think any more peons are spawning. I guess I'll just rush towards south, though. So. Ah, there's more behind me, but there's probably plenty over there with south, though. So. <laughs> Can I please just kill Liu Chun? <laughs> nah, Zhao Yun has it right now. If I did, though. You you have chosen the wrong side. You have proven yourself a raving beast. Now I shall cage you. 
Yeah, this might kill Seth, though. Yeah, I'm barely holding in. Holding on. There's not enough people around. Oh, well. I will accede to your might for now. But next time we meet, you will not walk <laughs> Equip away. the baby. <laughs> Due to the fierce display of might shown by Zhao Yun and Zhang Fei, Liu Bei was able to safely escape to Jiangsha. Having defeated Liu Bei, Cao Cao confidently turned his army towards Jiangdong. Sensing Cao Cao's intentions, Zhuge Liang went and proposed an alliance to Sun Quan. For Sun Quan, there was little merit in joining forces with Liu Bei's meager army. But Liu Bei was the only one in the land willing to oppose the might of Cao Cao. Uncertain of how to proceed, Sun Quan was approached by Zhuge Liang. He explained that Liu Bei would continue fighting even if Sun Quan were to surrender. For he would not give up until he had made his dream come true, no matter what the cost. Those words pierced the heroic Sun Quan's heart and caused him to staunchly refuse Cao Cao's demands for surrender. Meanwhile, Liu Bei dispatched Zhao Yun to the battle so that he could launch a joint attack with Sun Quan. All right, now we're actually Soon, entering new stages. The site of their decisive battle, Chirbi, was filled with Cao Cao's massive naval forces. This is where I stopped in the initial stream, the where the microphone was just too bad to keep going. Sun Quan. As the two armies prepared to engage in heated battle, neither side could know that the key to victory lay in the palm of the sleeping dragon's hand. Now for a peaceful boat ride through Kibi. Yeah, I remember the stage being very uh, unique. The fate of this battle depends upon the direction of the wind. We must ensure that our strategist's attempts to control the wind are unobstructed. Cao Cao's certainly not sparing any men this time, huh? And our brother, he wants us to tackle that lot head on. You're not scared, my lord. I'm excited, boy. I'm looking forward to a decent fight. That's funny. I was just thinking the same thing. Besides, our strategist has prepared a plan that cannot fail. The wind blowing is a nice effect. Why does the fire attack have to wait for the wind? If we start the fire now, it will simply turn back upon us. I don't believe all this prayer nonsense is going to change the winds. Are you sure we can trust this guy? I don't believe. Where would the It's Me guy be? Liu Bei is not here, so. Can we really win this? Looking at Cao Cao's fleet, I just feel a bit... Uh... I just hope Lord Zhang Fei doesn't take out his anger on me. Reasonable thing to want. With this battle, we must set the stage for the three kingdoms to be formed. However, Cao Cao will not make it easy for us. Lord Strategist? Never mind. It's nothing. Now I will begin the prayer ceremony. The wind will blow from the southeast, just as I have predicted. 
the other side of the altar. Uh, over here then? I'm sorry, my no. lord. You can't go any further. I guess you mean down here then. My lord, it's me. You probably don't remember me, I guess. I've been with Lord Liu Bei since the. Oh, he promoted. Turns, He's a corporal now. I've never been so scared. I have a wife and children, you know. I can't afford to die. But I suppose I must have faith and fight. His wife is just the mop from before, but now it's got like two brooms beside it, like hand brooms. For those. Uh, Lieutenant, who cares? All I can buy is the attack range up, so may as well. Lord Zhao Yun, Not that it'll matter for this stage. How goes Lord Juga Liang's preparations? He has just begun the prayer ceremony. It's all up to him now. Lord Zhao Yun! I come with orders from Lord Juga Liang. He wishes us to quietly begin the march. Quietly? We are to work our way around to Cao Cao's escape route, and he wants us to strike before Sun Quan's army can. Messenger is old. I mean, the voice doesn't sound like it, but the face looks it. I understand. I will leave Lord Zhang Fei in charge of guarding the prayer ceremony. Yes, my lord. Lord Liu Qi, will you please lend me your strength? Of course, Lord Zhao Yun. You have my gratitude. Now we must hurry. This way, Lord Zhao Yun. Lord Zhuge Liang has prepared a boat for you. I wish I knew what our strategist was thinking. How can he possibly overcome these numbers? And just what is this plan of his anyway? Zhuge Liang knows full well how overpowered ballistas are. So he made it where a ballista can move. Oh, do I have to... Uh, they're gonna wait me waiting for the other guy to reach here. That's so unnecessary. <laughs> that messenger is only 18. Damn. What kind of life has he had? Don't smoke, kids. <laughs> Sit back and the skills of a true Navy man. Oh, I'm actually shooting the actual ships. What would happen if I let it run into me? Oh, astounding! The wind has changed direction. Lord Juba Leong's incantation has worked. We must keep our end up as well. Hurry! I really hope you like the sound of the ballista shooting. Because, uh, it's going to be doing that a lot. The enemy ships are aflame. The fire attack has worked. It's like in a bullet hill game where there's just no reason to not be shooting, so you're always shooting. I think we can stop for a little bit. <laughs> Damn it, Captain. <laughs> Just cut off the quote. Oh, and just where do you think you're going? You made a poor decision, Lydian. Where's your intuition for this? The only thing preventing me from getting more kills is to draw distance. You again not learning by example. How did you get in here? Over there! It's South South! South South saw that just like, oh fuck this. <laughs> I don't 
think I can actually hurt them right now. <laughs> Boards the boat and just immediately this. <laughs> Looks so ridiculous. An honorable fight with a warrior. Exactly what you wanted, right, Chu Hong? Wow, he's stuck in the boat. Okay. Well, that's taken care of. The ballista can't be destroyed, so you're just not in any danger for this. Old circle, the game. Okay, I don't think I'm hitting anything. Oh, am I supposed to leave and board? Oh, okay. I didn't realize that's what I was doing. I was wondering why just nothing was happening. Killed almost 600 people in that ballista. <laughs> just all caps. Stop. <laughs> I haven't used it much, but uh, I do enjoy his R1 attack. It's very fluid and fun. Another obstacle in the path of justice has fallen before me. That should have bought my lord enough time. Thante's battle theme from DMC2 in the background. Yeah, because in DMC2, like, the guns are so overpowered, you can just press square and basically defeat every enemy in the game. I remember fighting the final boss. I was just pressing square and jumping it occasionally whenever he attacked. Mostly just to see if I could. It would appear that Cao Cao has already begun his retreat. Oh, never want I thought we'd be playing Zhuge Liang after that. Forgive me, Lord Jugan Liang. Please give me the order to pursue after him. Indeed. Godspeed, Zhao Yuan. Guan Yu, I would like for you to accompany him. Our victory is not complete until Cao Cao is eliminated. Lord Jugan Liang, I. I ask that you do it for the sake of our Lord. I have failed in my task. There is no excuse. I ask that you do it for the sake of our Lord. Lord Zhang Fei has gone on ahead. We must pick up the pace if we are to catch up in time. It's me, my Lord. You remember me from the Yellow Turbans? I do like that the voice actor actually tried to give him a deeper voice when he uh, promoted the corporal. It's a nice Come little touch you never noticed we before. We must give chase. Together we will claim victory, and I will regain the respect of my family. <laughs> what did you do to lose the respect of your family? What, what happened behind the scenes? <laughs> the last thing you said was about uh, you having a wife and two kids now. Now, now you have troubles at home? <laughs> Were you looking at a different mop? Oh, hey, Guan Ping. I didn't realize you existed. And Guan Yu never will. Let's see, Crystal Blade Master. Uh, sure. It doesn't tell you what it does, just says you become a master with it. So, why not? Looks like the weapons are in the. 20 attack range, so I'll start equipping weapons that have those. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Cao Cao couldn't have gotten very far. Father, 
Let's hurry after him. Huh. Now, to Tsao Tsao. I forgot Thousand Suns plays for this as well. Tsao Tsao is making for the mountain. After which you will head for Nanjing. You must stop him before he reaches the mountains. Still a great theme, I love it. We shall take a moment to review our ranks before we march. This song gets you so hyped up. Just ahead, isn't it? Out of my way. One you. Have you forgotten the debt you owe our lord? I have not. But I fight for my brother and the light he brings to this land. That was a grab, so. Had to do a muso to get out of that one. My blade has betrayed my heart. I hate to say this, but we're going to need reinforcements. Yeah, he just made fire to keep you from going. We'll defend this position with our lives if that's what it takes. All right, I should use the Darwin there, so no way I don't think I've used it yet. Have to find another path. Well done, Father. I'll keep up with you. You'll see. Oh yeah, I do really love in Dance Warriors 8 Empires. Or not, not 8 Empires. In Dance Warriors 8 hypothetical for way. Uh at TV. When a Thousand Sun remit starts playing for them. Like, that's such a great moment. Way is the best hypothetical. And, unless you count Lubu. Ah, eh, Lubu is the best hypothetical. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of good ones. I must finish this myself. Now that's how it's done. You inspire us all. Is Shang Fei getting beat up by Li Tong? Thanks for coming, brother. But I'm more than strong enough to take this lot. Thank you, brother. His R1 Muso is basically just a straight upgrade of his regular Muso. There's not really any reason to use the basic Muso after you've unlocked the R1. Oh yeah. Good one, Juan you. I wonder if anyone else can team up as well as we do. <laughs> Mostly good, why aren't you playing as one guy? <laughs> Well, unfortunately, he hasn't defended the shoe in this timeline. But uh, thank you for the ten bucks. That's recovered about ten percent of the microphone's cost. Oh, bye, Captain. See you in the afterlife. Discovered another path. You will learn to regret. I did pick up moment. its setup, didn't I? Okay, for sure I did. They're trying to sneak their way in. Crush anyone who tries to get through. You have truly earned your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. Father, it looks like we can climb up here. We you love Dice Warrior 7, Kiri Yamato, so do I. Our scouts have spotted Cao Cao's men resting. If we hurry, we I might also enjoy them. Seed Gundam. And most Gundam, not as late. I will sneak up on Cao Cao from the south. Excellent. 
Excellent, Father. Well done, as always. I guess it's Gundam Seed. It's not Seed Gundam. You fight with spirit, but I will stop you like an ant. You cannot fall behind. See if you can get through my defenses. There you are. Stand your ground, my lord. Is there no way through it all? Hey, one thing, what are you talking about? I'm already at South South. For me, Guan Yu, then I shall have to face you. Don't give up yet. We are very close to victory. What's the matter? Out of my here to kill me? Of course I am. I cannot allow you to go free. My fighters are dictating you are powerless before me. That does move to his one unit block. Tremble in fear, my blade. You really just gotta know the Muto so that which ones you can block and which ones you can't. There's no clear indicator for ones that aren't grabs. Go. I couldn't kill Cao Cao. I just couldn't. I know. I had already taken that fact into consideration. With this, the stage is now set for Lord Liu Bei's rise to power. It is time to walk a path fraught with great danger. The alliance between Liu Bei and Sun Quan struck a resounding victory at Cherbi. This crushing defeat forced Cao Cao to put his ambitions on hold. However, as Cao Cao had managed to escape unharmed, Sun Quan was unable to take any decisive actions. As long as Cao Cao was alive, they must slowly chip away at his strength and work towards building their ideal world. This was Zhuge Liang's plan to help Liu Bei turn his dream into reality. With Cao Cao unable to strike, Liu Bei turned his attention away from Sun Quan and built up his military forces. He then invaded four of the territories in southern Jing. Upon being sent to attack Changsha, Guan Yu found himself face to face with a most powerful opponent. It was the veteran general Huang Zhang, who served beneath Han Xuan, the prefect of Changsha. Why didn't Zhuge Liang send Guan Yu if he knew he couldn't kill him? Uh, it's because he wanted Guan Yu to uh, essentially move past the debt he had to South Cao, so he didn't spare him like at another Hong moment Xuan later on. Is a weakling. But At least that's how Dynasty Warriors tend to spin it. experienced officers in his ranks. And this may take some time. Han Xuan! Accuse Huang Zhong! Being traitor, I killed Han Xuan. Wei Yan here has killed the Lord of the Castle. We humbly surrender. It was an honor to have fought against you, Lord Guan Yu. Do what you will with us, but please spare the innocents in the castle. Our brother will treat you all with mercy.
<laughs> hey, tree. This will take some time. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, basically what just happened. <laughs> and so, Liu Bei obtained the four territories Yeah, Wei Yan and Huang Zhang both have the same voice well actor. skilled officers Wei Yan and Huang Zhang. He was also joined by a lot of people that hang out Hong together Kong, and chew just to tend to have the same voice actors, Liang it seems. Himself. Meanwhile, in return for his assistance at Chirpy, least favorite way on design, it's it's not Liu great. No. Who's my favorite character from each kingdom? Uh, province, but he did not from Jin at Simi Yi. From Wei? Furious though he was. Soon uh, that's hard between Sao Tsao and Shahadun. At that time, really like both of them. Instead, he sent his younger I think sister, Sun Shang Xiang, to marry Liu Bei in the hope that it would improve relations. Ooh, I really like early Gun Ming, like Dynasty nice Warriors Four and Five Gun Ming. That Liu Bei received a request for reinforcements. After that, I'm not so sure. Of Yi. No one really sticks out to me, Wu. Fearful of Cao Cao after his conquering of Guangzhou, uh, Xu he had Fajing. come to ask his relative Liu Bei for assistance. Zhuge Liang, you know the least Xu like character, recommended <laughs> that they go on the pretense of assisting Liu Zhang, and others would be attack him instead. The land of Yi. Uh, to the it's west. tough to decide also between Lu Bu and Yuan Shao. If Liu Bei could capture that territory, I guess I give it to Liu Bei. The land would be divided in three between Cao Cao, Sun Quan, and himself. This was the path to his land of virtue. This was Zhuge Liang's three kingdoms strategy. Though he did move to assist Pang Tong and the others, Liu Bei did not attack Liu Zhang. Even standing before Yi's Loa Castle. He did not make a move, for within him was a virtuous heart that he could not turn against. Watching is Goku black. He is basically, and it's great. I love that it's Goku's voice actor. <laughs> that took me a while to figure out. Mm -hmm. What is his name? Sean Shamel? I think that was how you pronounce his name. So you won't consider attacking Chung? He mostly just voices Goku, but occasionally you'll hear him in a random video game. But my lord, the or an anime. The province desire your rule. Silence. My army stays put. That is an order. Now then, I hope you don't mind helping me out, lads. Not at all! I crush enemy! Ping Tong has the power stance? Why? <laughs> Is this a joke? <laughs> Look at that stance! I'm this tiny little guy. <laughs> it's like a five year old trying to be imposing. What even is this? Also, this is the first character we play as that uh, isn't one of the core people. I guess it's fair enough. He's gonna die soon, like really soon. But Ping Tong basically joins Chu and then just dies immediately. Like he does stuff in GB, but I mean, we didn't get to see it. Got the turquoise wand. I think I said turquoise correct. That's not a word I normally say. So let's give him another wand. Shaman rod. Okay. Oh, I actually don't have that one learned. Huh. All right, still master. That's the spirit way, Yan. But try not to focus too much on achievements. It's the end result that counts. This is dangerous terrain to fight on. We could find ourselves in the hands of an enemy trap. I fight! 
Please, Liu Bei. That's the only cutoff way on last line there. Liu Zhang is merely an indecisive fool. Both the people and even his own men are calling for our lord to replace him. Why is he the only one who doesn't see it? He is a man of virtue. The situation he now finds himself in is at odds with that virtue. Well, if it is to help him realize his ideals, then I suppose we should pitch in and help him. Indeed. We simply need to take the castle ourselves. If we do so, then surely he will do what is needed to occupy the lands of Shu. Indeed. Uh, Peng Tong doesn't have Simi's current voice actor. He has the same voice actor he did in, uh, Dutch Warriors 5, though. And Warriors Archie 1, too. This place is known for its natural defenses. The enemy trap could be anywhere. It must be difficult for him to turn and attack a relative that asked for his help. However, this is a necessary step for Father to unite the land, and by doing so, create a world of virtue. I didn't even know Liu Bei had a son. I mean, it makes sense, like basically everyone did. I have served Lord Liu Bei faithfully. Never before have I gone behind his back. But I know that this land is essential to his dreams. For my lord, and for my family, I must help us build a land of virtue and benevolence. It's another benevolence. <laughs> it's from the It's Me guy, too. <laughs> Okay, I think that was everyone else. I suppose we should get moving. We're likely to be noticed if we just hang out around here. Understood. Loa Castle is a near impregnable fortress. And the enemy knows we are coming. My lords Wang Zhong and Wei Yan in our ranks, we cannot fail. I remember the rod moves that being okay. I will make for Luo Castle on the north. So I'm pretty sure Zhang Zhao has better moves though. Zhang Zhao has great moves though, honestly. Isn't this a gym stage? his enthusiasm, but Lord Wei Yan needs to realize how valuable he is to our cause. You were called to help us fight Salsa, yet now you turn your blades on us? Let's see what you think of this. You think you can outstart me? Oh yeah, the fire surfing for Pain Tom's Musa, that's pretty great. And his R1 Musa is a heal, I believe. Yeah. Does some slight damage to people around him, but mostly it's to heal himself. His ES attack is breathing that fire. But it leaves him wide open when he staggers at the end, so it's, uh, pretty terrible for an ES attack. Maybe the worst in the game, honestly. I think in other games it can cancel out of it, but not this one, it seems. Or maybe if I was a master with the rod, he would be able to. Yeah, nothing I try seems to let me cancel out of it. Okay, I'm glad I didn't spawn behind there. Why don't you relax a little, hmm? Overzealousness will just play into the enemy's hands. Look at that! Another area added to our collection! Okay, yeah, if you, if you master it, then you can jump out of it. That's what I thought. I remember being able to do that. But I didn't buy the mastery for that. Foolishly. His Muso isn't too great. Mostly it's hard to, uh, 
Oh, you can cancel into the moose, though. So that helps. It's hard to really get damage on it. Like, it's pretty good for officer clear- or for peon clearing. But, you don't really need help with that, you know? This is not the end! I don't know where I'm going here, it's just having me, like, follow him. And of course he's going in a completely different direction. I just saw a ladder and I was like, that was fun to climb. Oh, I've gone and gotten myself into a trap. Let me ambush, so what's that? This is as far as you go. Let's see what you think of this. I shall return. Remember that. He's the yet to OP in Wars Arc 3 with absorption. Hey, uh, most things are OP in Wars Arc 3. In Wars Arc 3, when you can just hit, slap absorption on it, or really any elemental attack. Well, well. This is a pain in the neck. There is no point going this way. We must find another path. No way I kind of think uh, Feng Tong is one of the people that need absorption the least, given he can just heal himself with a Muso. So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. No, I tend to keep absorption off of all of my characters because it's it's too broken. It does hit several times over, so yeah, I can see why that would be good. Since elemental hits care more about how many times it hits instead of how much damage the individual attack deals. Because when you have an element like Slay equipped, which just deals straight percentage damage, Then the base attack itself can deal one point of damage, but if it also deals like an extra 20% damage of the enemy's total HP, then if that hits like five times, well, they're dead. That wasn't it. <laughs> I love how it zoomed in on one guy that wasn't aiming at Peng Tong. Anyone else shooting would have been more believable. It was not! Unless that's supposed to be like a trick shot. My lord, are you alright? You've been shot. Also, I can just recover this. It's just a scratch. Nothing to worry about. Anyway, I can't die until the new phase dream is realized. You're out here all alone? I welcome such carelessness in the ranks of my enemies. His Muso apparently cannot break pots. Oh boy, a health upgrade. I'm sure he'll, he'll utilize that. And all the stages are going to play him later. Of them 
I don't like the idea of going up against them alone. Lord Juga Leon sends news. He has sent Lord Zhao Yun as back. Well then, we should clear out the enemy by the river to ensure he can arrive. You have allowed your pride to overcome your senses. One person cannot decide a battle. Too much damage on so dead with the times too. Yeah, that was respectable when all the hits connected. You came just at the right time. Looks like great minds think alike. This battle cannot be avoided if my lord is to achieve his goal. I will do what needs to be done. In that case, let's draw the enemy out. As his weaknesses, it's our job to be his strength. Ah, come on. Not the fire might be able to get around the block, but not so much. You can tell it's my first time playing Peng Tong in this, because he's got so so much. Such fewer stats in him compared to Zhao Yun or Zhang Fei. I must retreat. This is not the end. So what are we doing to you guys? Just trying to get you to the gate or whatever. Let's see what you think me now for glory. Frankly, I'm kind of surprised they had us even play Paint Tong in story. I must retreat. This is not the end. Like, that seems like someone they just, you know, kill off. Hey, I defeated an officer. Like, that didn't stop them. Like, a character dying didn't stop them from doing that uh, in other stories. I never got to play the Sai Sheet C. The exterior of the castle is ours. It seems there are some inside the castle who are fleeing, too. This is not the end. You treacherous thief! This is this. how you repay my father. What a stunning display of strength! You have earned my respect. One step back. You dare challenge me? I can anticipate your every move. All right, let's go. The castle is lost. I think one generic was still alive, but who cares? Well, well, that was tougher than I thought. Pang Tong, what have you done? Thank you, my lord. What is this? Hear those voices, my lord. The people of Yi province are happy. These people... They were waiting for me. Go on. Go to them. Excellent! This is... You... Ah, invisible blood! Uh, 
It seems I'll be making my exit earlier than planned. Duga Liang, it is in your hand. Though Pan Tong was lost, cheers of joy from Liu Bei's army and his peasant followers flooded Loa Castle. Liu Bei could not help but think that this was not the right path. But to avenge Pan Tong's death, and to answer the fervent desires of the people of Yi, Liu Bei advanced his army on the Yi capital of Chengdu. For he had finally made up his mind to attack Liu Zhong. Meanwhile, hearing of Pang Tong's death, Zhuge Liang left Guan Yu in charge of Jing and set out to join the battle. He joined up with Liu Bei, and together they looked to swiftly capture Chengdu. Driven by the lost dreams of his fallen friend and ally, the dragon would soar over the hills of Yi, where the feathers of the phoenix lay scattered in the wind. Secure Chengdu. Yi province will be ours. Lord Liu Bei will finally have a country of his own. And with the land divided in three, then. I bring news. Lord Zhang Fei has gone to Lord Liu Bei's aid. Our troops await your orders. Very well. All forces advance. How did they even hear him? I guess they saw the fan and took that signal. And we're playing as the man himself. The benevolent man. Let's see. I guess I'll take attack range up. I'm not even sure if that applies to him with his... Fan attacks. Oh right, smithing is a thing, right. You need certain characters with the smithing skill to use certain weapons. Or to create certain weapons. But really, who cares about that? Think of weapon though. Falcon wing, yeah, that works. Do another war fan. battle violates the principles of justice and honor, but we need new province. Begin marching toward our target. I do not want anybody to fall behind. Lord Liu Bei's virtuous knows the people of his land. They will welcome his rule. Hong Kong's devotion shows him the truth. I have no doubts about this battle. Fight me now! For glory! On the thunder. Regroup now! The Duke of Leon's moveset is okay. He's got a few moves I'm really not a fan of, like his Arch 6, for example. It's a bit too stationary to blast off all the lasers. Astounding! Now, I really don't like his jump attack, because it's so slow to get out. Ah, I see you, Adrian. Yeah, have fun. Fight me now for glory. <laughs> Using the CBE emotes, the better strategist, yes. To retreat is not necessarily to lose. There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. Such an amazing 
effort. Everybody, follow me to victory. Now is the opportune moment. You gotta grab this one and air myself. No, the air myself. Retreat now as planned. There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. Hey, you're not bad. I can't let you beat me, though. Now is the opportune moment. Out, invaders! I do like jumping out of the ho off of the horse and then using the air missile just before you hit the ground. To retreat is not necessarily to lose. Damn it. There is no greater weapon than the horse go. Yeah, I hate how much the air attack with the fan just like locks you in place. been defeated but I will fight on you can fight on if you like but it is no under its current rule he causes his doom now that's how it's done you inspire us all I call upon you believe your wits are a match for mine now is the opportune moment to retreat is not necessarily to lose there is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. I didn't see a master option uh, in his skill set. So I'm not sure if he's able to jump, double jump with this man new set. Which is sort of a shame. After he was defeated by Tsao I heard that Ma Chao was working for John Lu. Report. It seems that the Allied reinforcements have arrived. Yeah, that gate's closed. Lord Zhao Yun is heading for Ma Chao to talk with him. He is taking Lord Li Hui, who knows Ma Chao well. If they play their cards right, we could acquire ourselves a very powerful ally. Oh, I gotta get him all the way across the map. Alright, I guess I'm going down now. This area is merely a pawn in my larger overall strategy. I call upon the thunder. Now is the opportune moment. You have proven yourself a raving beast. Now I shall cage you. This area is merely a pawn in my larger overall strategy. Fight me now for glory. Now is the opportunity. <laughs> Mahan is his name. What a stunning display of strength. You have earned my respect. The enemy is fighting with tremendous fervor. I just imagine Liu Bei saying it like Mahan. Like fighting for the Han or whatever. He just says it Mahan instead. Like my crew, basically like that. Now is the opportune moment. You appear to be a competent fighter. So much for that arbalist. Blew it away. That's what you get for not making it invincible. Machal's allegiance would swing this battle firmly in our favor. I am counting on you. 
Ma Chao is an honorable man. If you plead the righteousness of our case, he will join us. How did that miss? To retreat is not necessarily to lose your own peril. There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. You think you can outsmart me? Don't make me laugh. You will learn to regret this moment. Make your own peril. have truly earned your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. Let's see how hard it is to retreat Machia this time. Insidious trespassers! You will be duly punished by my blade. The name's Madai. It's a pleasure to meet you. I call upon the thunder. You! Way on praises him for the 1000 KOs. I promised too many people that I would survive this battle. So they're supposed so to reach each other, but uh, I'm just gonna beat them. I have been defeated by Cao Cao, and now by you. I have lost everything. I do not deserve to live. Then take your life and give it to Lord Li Bei's cause. Walk with us towards a righteous goal. I call upon the thunder. The loss of the Ma family has hit them hard. Some soldiers are fleeing the castle. That's what I like to see. At least he didn't defend like in the middle of the battle. Effort. Everybody, follow me to victory. Lord John, the battle is all but over. There is no need to shed more unnecessary blood. Liu Bei has shamed us all. We are blood now, and yet he turns against us. It is clear that you were not great enough to rule in this time of strife. And Liu Bei, he is great enough? A benevolent ruler. With Chengdu in his hands, that is what Lord Liu Bei has become. All was proceeding just as Zhuge Liang had envisioned. Oh, yeah, the, captured Yi, that last Musa was pretty fervent. It didn't eventually cut off Liu Zhang. And the land <laughs> just in time for the cutscene. Divided into three, with Liu Bei of Shu, Cao Cao of Wei, and Sun Quan of Wu. At long last, Zhuge Liang's three kingdom strategy had come to fruition. I'm just gonna let this play out while I uh. Go get a drink real quick. Against this backdrop, the province of Jing, located at the center of these three kingdoms, grew more important than ever. While relations between Shu and Wu had worsened as they fought for control of the province, that all changed when Wei invaded Hanzhong. Yu Bei proposed to cease fire with Sun Quan and return to him the eastern portion of Jing. And in return for the land, he asked that Wu participate in a joint attack against Wei at Hefei. Just as they promised, Wu attacked Hefei. For a while, Jing once again knew peace. Having secured Jing, Zhuge Liang sent Huang Zhang and other top generals to take the fight to Wei. The battle would take place on Han Zhang's Mount Dingjuan. It was there that Zhuge Liang realized 
that the land of virtue they had sought for so long was finally within their grasp. Okay, what did I miss? Unless you're as good as me. Oh, Ding Jun, got it. <sighs> Securing Han Zhong will bring stability to the kingdom of Shu. <laughs> the jump. All. Even we old folks have to think about the future sometimes. The legs on this man. They just make that jump and be okay. It's so high up. People have died from falls that high. All these little tenets. Liu Bei. Gain land. People happy. I fight. Protect Liu Bei. I. I hear you are skilled with all weapons, not just the bow. I'd love to see you fight with something really unique. Oh, there are options. <laughs> like a drill lance. She has poor compatibility with. I think they tell us how compatibility with Dynasty Warriors 8. But we'll just stick with the bow. Where are the bows? There it is. Got projectile resistance. Haven't learned that yet. That really matters in this save file. You're playing Dance Warrior 7 on Steam. On Steam. Okay. Uh, cool. I'm probably never going to play it on PC. I just prefer to play with console. Plus, you know, I already own it on PS3, so why would I buy it again? I'm indebted to Lord Liu Bei for taking me in. I will do what I must to aid Shu. I keep trying to, like, take a drink from water while uh, someone is speaking, but they only say one line. Cao Cao of Wei, Sun Quan of Wu, and now Lord Liu Bei of Shu. It is just as Lord Zhuge Liang predicted. The Three Kingdom strategy has been realized. Was oh, there no one in this side of the camp? All right. Oh, there's some guys over here which I can't talk to. Or nope, I can. I can talk to this one. Juga Liang's brother, Juga Jin, looks exactly like a donkey. It's uncanny. Okay, keep that in mind for when Juga Jin becomes playable. If he doesn't look like a donkey, then they fucked up. What a view. It's kind of spoiled by all those way soldiers, mind you. Now, where's the it's me guy? I didn't see any corporals. It didn't look hard enough. He didn't get demoted, did he? Is he a private? Or is he a lieutenant now, maybe? They say shot. I hear there's some off. 
Or is his son here now? I hear you. Did he die and now his son's here? Shields. I could do with one of those. Most people could. I cannot play a Souls game without a shield. It just it feels wrong to me. Bloodborne and Sekiro don't count. <laughs> They're made in such a way you don't need to use a shield. Lord Guess you don't have to for the others, but by he will be determined to have his revenge. I cannot find this guy. Now that our Lord has a land of his own, it's probably over here. I didn't realize I didn't talk to Juke Leong. If we can win this battle, then we will be that much closer to uniting the land. The enemy strategist is a man named. My lord Liu Bei has Okay, he's a major now, world. and damn, he's now old. He's a mighty leader of men. I remember him from the early days. At first, it was just me and him against the world, with a few others. <laughs> with a few others. But I know he values my support. The two of us have come a long way. <laughs> Look how full of himself he's gotten. Uh, so, yeah, I upgraded and everything. All right, to the final. I'll show you all that I've still got what it takes. I'll do anything necessary to protect this land. Let's go. Begin the march. Understood. Cao Cao has set up camp on Mount Dingjun. If we can secure the mountain... Han Only man to age and us where you're seven. Yeah, I guess he is. We will begin with the foothills. Wei Yan, you head west. Ma Chao, secure the central garrison. I like Feng Gong the edge attack. It's really good. Good coverage and fast. My blade belongs to Lord Yu Bei now. For his vision, it will slice through the enemy. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall seek. I have lost count of these enemy officers over the years. If you have no one to watch your back, then down. I skew with the bodies on the what? You thought you could win this battle on your own? Such arrogance. I think I remember uh, when they first showed gameplay from Dance Warrior 7. Wasn't it Huang Zhang stage? I can remember them showing Huang Zhang gameplay, and that's like. It seemed a really weird character to use, you know? I remember watching this video with a bunch of Japanese guys really overreacting every single time he used the Muso. Our friends are in need. Get over and help them at once. Nobody gets the upper hand on me. You have truly earned your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. I also think Kwang Jong has some of the least impressive looking Musos in the game, too. No lines to tell you want. Well done. Your example is I probably fight him multiple times then. <laughs> I love how it hit Machal and the rest. Elegance in combat is unparalleled. 
Oh, I do like that he puts his hand on his back after he does his move, so. Nice little touch that shows that he's old. In case you couldn't gather that. By his appearance and how often he references it. Well, Hong Jong is like the Soon Chen Chang of old people. Where no one really comments on his age all that much, but he's always just like, I'll show you old people can do things too. Like how Shang Chang does for girls. All units, we must hold out until an opening presents itself. I hope you realize you have no chance of victory. Enemy supply depots have been discovered on Mount Tian Dai. Lord Yan is leading a unit there now. I like how Sato is here, but Shao Yuan is still alive. Bong <laughs> Jong is old? Before. What? <laughs> nice one, boy. So you are my Ow. Opponent. Ow, stop. I'll crush you like all of the others. I, I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall seek. I have lost count of these enemy officers over the years. I like how each of those officers gave a different shield. You have truly earned your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. The arrows shall rain down upon you. always stuck out to me after Dynasty Warriors 5, where Huang Chong has a cutscene where he fights them. In which he shoots his horse. Just headshots the pony. I feel like they'd never do that nowadays. Then again, the opening of this game did, does have uh, Zhao Yun dropkick a horse in the face, and it's dead after that. So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. That wasn't anything special on my on my part. He just stopped blocking. <laughs> it looked like I went over his guard or something. That's not what happened. This one is heroic. I guess I need to pick up the pace. Even the weakest of enemies can come back to haunt you. Let's track this one down immediately. Watch and burn. The arrows shall rain down upon you. I had no idea where he was. He was too high up. How could I lose to that old man? I'm off my game. Yeah, he said the line. But it'll be a while before you can match me. I have what? lost count of these enemy officers over the years. One thing that's good about this microphone is that uh, it's got like this feature that essentially only detects sound from like yeah, in front of it, you know, where I am. So uh, it's not Follow picking me. up the sound of like all the cars driving by today. So hopefully we'll be hearing less of that. Have It'll have to be exceptionally loud position. to get through. They will boost the morale of our troops. Don't give up yet. We are very close to victory. No, uh, Shahu Yuan's not dead quite yet. We're probably saving that for the end of the stage. Secure Han Chong. Lord Guan Yu should attack Shu Chong. Watch and learn. The arrows shall rain down upon you. Okay, just Muso the Man and just walks away. Stop, dude. Nobody gets the upper hand on me. Tian Man gives no fucks. All right, bye. 
Do what you want, bro. I must retreat. This is not the end. I have lost count of these enemy officers over the I don't think we play Huang Zhong again after this anyways. I don't need to go out of my way to get him extra kills. I'm just operating the controller with one hand while I eat some peanuts. Oh, I wasn't doing Kenner Juju. It is impossible for an army to continue fighting on an empty Actually, really hungry. I haven't eaten much today. I have lost count of these enemy officers over the. I should have. I knew I had like a five-hour stream awaiting me. Your abilities to make my tactics work. If successful, we will be victorious. Oh, thank you, Felico. The benevolence is corrupting me. It tells me to donate to this unknown guy named Zaldan 007. They're certainly you and you the young and they're benevolent. Oh god, he was taken. Oh god. <laughs> thank you for the ten dollars. I have no use for any but himself. What's I like how CB's plan was, uh, when you enter the garrison, he sets the- He sets the garrison he's in and trying to defend on fire to try and take you out. Oh, that's a grab. Ow, just a- just like the knockback from the grab whipping actually did a number on me. Oh, this is like, imagine a robber broke into your house and your solution to deal with him is to set your house on fire. I mean, odds are it's gonna dissuade him from robbing you and probably, you know, stop him in his tracks, but this has other problems. <laughs> The arrows become explosive arrows when you're on the horse. And only when you're on the horse. <laughs> the aristocrat. Yeah, I would do that. I see, I <laughs> of course you would. Then it would be rude of me not to look. The land for which you may be ultimate sacrifice will soon be realized. You think you can outsmart me? Don't make me laugh. His first missile was honestly just better than their missile. There have been many to die by my hand. And there will be many more. Oh, that was 1,000 KO line. Nice. Not gonna lie, it's pretty good. Oh, I guess he did kill Shao Yuan there. It, just, it, it didn't sound he like it. Away fast, I'll say that much. Cao Cao is gone, I see. He said something about being a decoy. Just a bad loser. I hope you are right. Maybe. Lord Guan Yu.
At Hanjong, Cao Cao seemed almost too calm and collected. Zhuge Liang could not help but feel uneasy. I got the ominous music playing. With Hanjong under its control, Shu had stabilized as a country and was gaining momentum. As if in celebration of their good fortune, Guan Yu marched north from Jing and attacked Wei at Fan Castle. If they could bring down Fan Castle, there would be nothing left standing between them and the Han capital of Shichang. With everything going so well, there was no reason to expect that their Wu allies would betray them. However, no matter what Zhuge Liang did, his worries could not be eased. Okay, so what we got? Then, as the stage Han switched Castle, to east of Hanjong, Yiling, Han Castle in Jing, Wujing Plain, what other battles will we have? Waves of emotion flooded over Guan Yu as he gazed upon Fan Castle, where Cao Ren Tian lay Tui, in wait. For finally, the dream that Liu Bei had pursued for so many years was about to become a reality. To forge a path to that world of virtue, Guan Yu and his sons would fight to the Video bitter end. Okay. The God of War's battle plan was flawless. That is, until the surprise attack came. Oh, hello, the Apple. Your son. How do you survive this? Their abilities on the battlefield are most impressive. I have to say, they remind me of you. You must be proud to have not one, but two such magnificent sons. Hey, well, how do you look so young? Direct conflict will only result in heavy casualties. The key to victory will be the success of the flood attack. Cao Ren is tightening his defenses. The mustache, I'm so saying. We should focus on attacking Xiang Yan first. Hey, there's a what major. On you, over here. It's me. You know, it's been so long since I left home. Remember those early days? Looking at your sons, it takes me back to when we were their age. I have two boys of my own now. I'd like to get home to them before they're all grown up. Well, you're in the wrong battle for that. I have lots of everything for Guan Yu. Not yet. The a new weapon. Got to be good. Far. The preparations for the flood attack are complete. Our units are also in place around the enemy position. Most impressive, my sons. Come, we must capture Fawn Castle for the sake of our lord. First, we will secure Xiang Yang. Then, we will divert the water from Han Shui into Fawn Castle. I see this is a two part battle. Makes sense. My first battle. Finally, this is my chance. Oh, this is your first battle, man. What's the matter, Father? It's not like you to be lost in thought in battle. Looking at you and your brother reminds me of my own sword. I haven't seen them in so long. By the way, son, do you know I'm only two days from retirement? Just thought I'd bring that up. Oh, I guess I gotta go and do this manually. Eugene is leading them. The Western 
Is under because it's not Eugene, then? I guess I'll do that. Or not. Fine. The Western Bank is integral to our flood attack. We cannot lose it. What do you even tell me about Eugene, then? Excuse me, Eugene. Eugene, like the nerdiest name someone could have. I don't really feel it's necessary for me to have to do this, and wow, I've been playing way too much Elden Ring. I tried to dismount by pressing L3. <laughs> Oh wow, it's super flooded the this place. Army has suffered major casualties from the flood attack. Their morale has been seriously lowered. Excellent. Into the castle. Father, the ships are ready. It's time to go. Oh, was I was I not supposed to have left? Well, okay. Game, you really got to hurry up with this. <laughs> I think I can swim faster than the horse. I press A. That's how it works in Dungeon Warrior 6, anyways. I still think there's a difference in this game. How was Elden Ring? Good. Really good. I beat it before, and now, like a year later, I've started playing it again. And yeah, I still hold up. Really good. I wish the DLC would come out already. Ever be able to match my father. My first character was there basically no pure strength, used dual great swords. Second character is more dex based. And like the extreme opposite, I'm now using dual daggers. Are a bridge to victory, to Fawn Castle. That whips too. I've been using bleed a lot more. Because, you know, it's kind of overpowered. But I didn't use it as my first character, like at all. We must defend this area. Even if it means our lives. And yeah, bleed works really well on anything that has blood to bleed. Help! Help! Less so when you're fighting something made of stone. Oh, they're the commanders? This. Okay. For yours is the first head I shall see. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall see. The castle is all but ours, father. Only the commander, Sal Ren, remains. Terrible news. The Wu army has invaded our territory. Gong An and Zhang Ling have already fallen. No. Wu are our allies. Have they betrayed us? My lord, it's an emergency. The Wei army is amassing outside the castle. Their numbers are immense. I like the music change. Oh, and just keeping it up. Nice. Uh, 
That's where 7 has some really underrated soundtrack. The enemy numbers are far greater than we had imagined. Father, you must withdraw! Hey, what about you? I will stay here in the castle and keep the enemy occupied. Brother, you must keep our father safe. Oh, uh, uh, of course. I was legit just banging my head for that. That's great. Alright, let's equip. One soil. Yeah, that'll be fine. Upgrade his moveset. Attack rank jut's probably good for a guy with none jut's. Oh yeah, for, for some reason, he has a Tonfa master skill instead of like a nunchuck master skill. I, I don't know why. Maybe he was originally planned to use Tonfas. We must break through my castle and to brother. You must stay alive, man. Yes, I'm just following Dad. Made sense Guanfo would be faster than him. Father. If they all drop something. We must hurry. Our two of them good. Just put a scratch. Zhong Zhao is needing more way reinforcements from the northeast. The only reason he survived that was because there were mini cutscene arrows. This is getting worse by the moment. We have to that get was, out of If here. that was a full-on cutscene, he would have no hope. You believe your wits are a match for mine? Okay, that was supposed to be a grab, but it didn't really work. I actually used his R1 Muso first. Because it suited us to do Surrender now and face death like a man. What a fucking Chad response from Lu Ming. <laughs> Why did you betray us? Because we wanted to. <laughs> it's like, Jesus. Where'd he go? Oh, he's luring him. Lord Guan Yu's movements are so slow. I fear his injuries are serious. You have truly earned your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. Go tie in this battle, huh? They have us surrounded. Fire! Lend me the strength I need. Oh, ballista, great. I can go no further. Lend me the strength I need. I leave the rest to you. Oh, someone's like, 
saying Taishi Tsi died of many cutscene arrows. Yeah, that's because Von Yu has an advantage and that he knows how to manipulate the game. As we've seen him do multiple times. The last second he lowered the damage number. Jesus Christ, Han Dog, chill the fuck out! <laughs> I am still but a child. Yeah, I'm fine with leaving that ballista alive. We'll just we'll just go past it. Yes, there is much you can still learn, but you will be a great man. The future of Shu rests on your shoulders. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall see. He's been landed R1 or so. There we go. Sure, Just kicks the crap out of the enemy. Do not waste our time. So it's true. Jiang Ling has fallen. My brother's dreams have been dashed. Fight me now for glory. We must hurry to my castle. What makes it your castle? I like how Guan Yu brought Guan Suo and Zhao Wei with him. Meanwhile, Guan Ping is still back at the front, just dying. Shut up, game. I'm right next to him. Me Fung already in red armor. You were an arrogant, pig-headed duck. Oh, hello, Xu Huang. If my father were here, I know that he would be here. <laughs> <laughs> Guan Yu just looking over like, I'm not dead yet, son. I think Chu Huang started the focus Guan Yu after the line. So they could have just been at the middle. If my father were here, I know that he would be proud of Oh, they also got catapults over here? Jeez. And their rods explode on impact. Sauron's advancing on one thing. Well, you don't you have like the fastest horse on the planet? He's been killed. Our ally has fallen. Our ally. And now this. But I must fight on. To honor your name. Just never acknowledged it was his son. <laughs> Left him to die. <laughs> This family is so fucked up. Your wits 
Chips are a match for mine. <laughs> Show the enemy, show the world if you have the power to lead. Oh, you know the reason why. It's because one one thing was adopted. <laughs> He's not a real son. Meanwhile, Guan Spo. Yeah, we gotta get him out of here. He's gonna go on to do so much. I shall withdraw for now. My father were here, I know that he would be proud of me. Meanwhile, Guan Spo just can't wait for him to die, apparently. I'll put a stop. Already talking like he isn't there. Now, close the exits to my castle. But I thought it was Guan Yu's castle. You're out of luck, Guan Yu. Lend me the strength I need. Have more fight left in you than I thought. But it will take more than grit to get out of this. Fight me now for glory. At that time, too, really does wonder for Musos. This is not the end. Wow, he just disappeared. Uh, he teleported backwards. All right. Come, father. We must. Did you air trick down? All right. Son, you must stay alive, live, and support your brother. What are you talking about? And give my lord and Jiang Fei a message for me. Tell them I'm sorry I broke my promise. <laughs> Farewell, my son. I have always been proud of you. The last thing one you did was Father! beat his son. Due to the treachery of his supposed ally Wu, Guan Yu was slain in battle. And in an instant, the bond so carefully formed between Shu and Wu through Sun Shangxiang's marriage would <laughs> And then Guan Suo drowns. <laughs> Meanwhile, the tides of change were swimming. Imagine if at the end of the cutscene, Guan Suo's well. like, Father, I can't Zhang Zhang, swim! The hero of chaos <laughs> died and was succeeded by his son, Cao Pi. Following in his father's footsteps of conquest, Cao Pi demanded the Han Emperor abdicate the throne and declared himself Emperor of Wei. In response, Zhuge Liang advised Liu Bei to stake his own <laughs> the worst son the lives. Yeah. He reminded Liu Bei that he was an actual descendant of the Han bloodline, that it was his birthright. By doing so, <laughs> what he could with you and throwing your own children the <laughs> for having deposed the Han emperor. However, Liu Bei remained undecided, for he was still haunted by the death He's eating of their Guan spawn. Yu. I think I like that phrasing better. <laughs> Yes. We must defeat Wu. But Cao Pi is the true threat. What is the point of attacking Wu? What point? You... How dare you say that? Avenge Guan Yu's death. What other reason do we need? I'm sorry. I bring news! General... General Zhang Fei... He has been killed... by his own men. 
The traitors have taken his head and fled to Wu. For the first time in his life, yeah, that was decided to start. Yeah, that was the best cutscene in this entire story. It is intense. Joining his sworn brother, his voice actor did great. John that was a great scream at the end away. there. It's hard to make like, brothers who had pledged to you know, a pain scream like that over someone's death, own. like uh, meanwhile, sound legit, not forced. That Guan that was really well done. <laughs> Just the ahs in the chat. Liu Bei brushed aside the pleas of Zhuge Liang and his other retainers, determined to launch a large-scale military campaign against Wu. Liu Bei's hatred, sorrow, and malice whipped through the sky above Yiling, signs of the impending storm. This battle would not be for justice. Man, just that one-two punch, Guan one Yu's dead. He starts to chill out for a little bit. With a heavy heart, like he knows he shouldn't, you know, invade Wu, so he Shu, apologizes, and then vengeance. he gets that <laughs> that messenger comes in, tells him about Zhang Fei, and just loses so it. Many battles alongside Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. Yeah, that's where his A doesn't match that. It's which is hard to. such vast numbers the sorrow and anger that our lord is feeling must be great indeed but right now he does not have any sense of perspective he may resent it and even decide to push me away but if i don't keep him safe then i will be dishonoring my great forebearers now I must go to him! But first, we apply the buffs. Two new spears to use. I challenge right. any and all comers to test me in the art of battle. Hey, now is the time to attack. Everybody to battle. Don, Don, chill out. Why are you like this? Jesus. <laughs> this guy. My lord, <laughs> we cannot make contact with several of our officers. My lord, new base is missing. He's just like, you will notice me. I will be playable in the next game, damn it. We need to regroup, but it will be difficult. Time is of the essence. We must find my lord at once. What a disaster. I have no excuse for troubling you with this rabble. This battle will determine the final victory. Give it everything you have. <laughs> They're on Liu Ning. Red Fu Tong. Shang Yi. We're being pushed back. We must find a way to reverse this. Of course, Guan Suo is fighting Fu Shi Red and Mi Fang. Granted, his shoes is probably who I'd go after as well. My lord. I have failed you. I cannot find Lord Liu Bei anywhere. Keep it together, man. I will find our Lord. You need to rescue as many of our people as <laughs> Leo Ha just running. <laughs> now it's my chance. 
That's how the Ohad survived so long. He knows when to run. <laughs> You are leaving My Lord, I am so glad to see you. I feared I would never see the brave men of Shu again. I'm glad you're still alive. Do you know where Lord Liu Bei is? Not for certain, but he is south of here. I hope he is safe. Side of the flames. If we detour to the east, we should be able to get to him. <laughs> the chat. Damn this guy again. He's really the hero of Wu. Too bad I don't know what his name is. <laughs> it's such a stupid joke that no one notices Han Dong, but I love it. <laughs> I was most definitely in a spot of trouble back there. Thank you for saving me. You're just now saying that? I'm deeply moved by your performance in battle. I too shall do my best to try and be a powerful warrior. There he is! Our lord is alive! We must rescue him! I shall own the battle! Let's go capture one of those unsightly positions. Follow me. That's a stupid joke just popped in my head. But Zhao Yun starting his Muso saying, I shall own the battlefield. I'm just imagining what if instead of like it's a close up on him taking a pose with a spear, it's a close up on him just taking out his wallet. <laughs> I hope you were able to envision it just then. You die here, right? Another obstacle in the path of justice. Oh, you can the uh, commander. All right, sure. Not gunning has been killed. <laughs> I'm not going to be fit the last for teams in a sport session, despite having his hand up the entire time. <laughs> Hey, getting in there. Zhao Yun, what are you doing here? You must withdraw. Allied reinforcements are on their way. I will not. I must avenge my fallen brothers. Ah, uh, yes, the gut punch knockout. Everyone in anime knows how to do it. Lord Juga Leon, the rest is up to you. Let us go. The path we travel continues still. Oh well, we've won. <laughs> Lord Liu Bei has safely made it to Bai Di Castle. Lord Zhao Yuan is holding the enemy at bay to the south. We must withdraw the rest of our troops to save. I wonder if the PC version has uh, less problems with draw distance. It I have has some to. Troops preparing a new weapon. It may take some time to arrive. I, I mean, we got ballistas. We already won. I will hold the enemy off with the ballista until preparations are complete. We must 
strengthen our defenses. We will hold them off and wait for our chance to strike. I could fight them legit, but mm, this is faster. Lord Liu Bei has gone to war with sorrow and his heart. And just shows how broken these are, as if you needed another example. But Lord Liu Bei knows love, and this is why he is the man to bring happiness to people. You will learn to regret this moment. There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. A prepared mind. I don't think your mind is what's winning this. The Wu army is preparing to deploy more reinforcements. Remain vigilant, my lord. I guess I'm not picking up any stat boosters you're dropping. Oh well. My husband, you are indeed the incarnation of the dragon. I know your strength will come to me as well. Yeah, Frank. You know what? I'm sure you're right, Yu Ying. I bet you could easily pull a trigger. And hold it down. Your prowess rekindles my spirit. Onward to victory. Your prowess rekindles my spirit. Onward to victory. He's mind controlling the ballista. Sure. My lord. Army reinforcements have arrived, led by Ding Fang. But well, they'll walk towards the ballista eventually, to so. They can have all the reinforcements they want. My father will be avenged here and now by my own hand! Everyone moving on the offensive now. My lord, the or at least going slow is. It is just a prototype, but I hope it will serve its purpose. Not this time, Han Nong. So he is staying just outside of the ballista's range. Damn it, this guy. <laughs> Notice his intellect. Allow me to guide you to the afterlife. Lord Wang's war is requesting aid, my lord. I suggest we help him. Oh, is he now? When he just ran out in front like a moron? Oh, he didn't even run out in front. He ran towards the enemy main Fight camp. Now for glory. And if only we taught anyone besides Zhao Yun how to pilot one of these things. There is no greater I guess I should say operate. Son of mech. Yu Yi needs to design like a list of mech of some sort. Your prowess rekindles my spirit. Onward to victory. Each arm can just rotate 360 and just spray spray arrows everywhere. Your prowess rekindles my spirit. Onward to victory. The legs have threads underneath, so they can just. They really glide along the ground like they're doms. The kneecaps spew out fire for anyone that gets close. Is 
not necessarily to lose. There is no greater weapon than a prepared. He knows he'll spit out bong from its chest cavities. Its shoulders are really bulky in order to support the catapult that can launch stones at the enemy. I know your strength will come to me as well. Hang in there! Victory! Fight me now! For glory! I should do it a draw. That <laughs> would absolutely draw this thing. <laughs> Because what I'm envisioning in my head is great. <laughs> Ballistas, but they're gun faints. Kinda. This is not the end. There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. And these guys are taking forever to kick one to his ass. Oh, because Zhao Yun was here. Fair enough. Please retreat. Thank you. Now is the opportune moment. This is for God. Now is the opportune moment. Yeah, I guess he would be upset about that. Let us annihilate the enemy. I did not mean to mount the horse, I wanted to jump. What a stunning display of strength. You have earned my respect. Now that's how it's done. You insist blocking. Where did the ding thing go? Really, where did he go? Oh, he's gone. He's going to get to Guan's oil. All right. Oh, I have to kill him, don't I? Damn it. Why would you make him follow him? Ah, uh, this is annoying. I think he healed too. Now we gotta go back to fight Lu Shun. What is up with Ding Fing's defenses? There we go. I need to accomplish. I shall withdraw for now. There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. Well, considering he just ran into the main camp, then... Oh, okay. What would you do in this situation? <laughs> he just sets everything on fire. I mean, it is called good knowledge for Lushun to know. Because it's all he's going to do. This is my main camp now. We have done enough. My lord, I hope we shall meet again someday. You have judged your retreat well. I see Zhou Yu and Lu Meng have a worthy successor. I only hope I can find one so talented to carry on my legacy. Yu Bei and his army were dealt a crushing defeat at Yi Ling. Under the protection of Zhao Yuan and Zhuge Liang, Liu Bei safely returned to Baidi Castle. 
Unable to fulfill his quest for revenge, he soon took ill. Despite his power and authority, he never abandoned his kindness and human decency. He was willing to give his own life if it might ease the people's suffering. The final chapter in the book of this man, who lived with passion and a zest for life, was about to come to a close. Forgive me. I wanted a land of benevolence, like we had talked about. But I allowed my grief to consume me, and it cost men their lives. Your mistakes are due to your benevolence. You have supported me until the very last, my friend. My son, Liu Shan, he must take over when I am gone. But if he proves inadequate, then I want you to lead Shu. But my lord, indeed you are the one who has shown true benevolence until the very end. My lord. You must complete the task I have left unfulfilled. Ah, my brothers, my friends. I'm sorry I took so long. Now, we go. Together. Always. Your man kind of got drunk at the end there. <laughs> Liu Bei died within the confines of Baidi Castle. The imperial throne was taken over by his son. I do son, like him talking Shan, about being together with his brothers. Liang was made prime minister. First, Zhuge Liang. Oh, that put us up to nine benevolences. Okay. Yeah, there was three in that one cutscene. And when things worsened between Wei and Wu, he took the opportunity to eliminate a different threat. Word of impending rebellion in Nanjong. Zhuge Liang himself led the campaign south and forced the Nanjong king, Meng Huo, to surrender. With his rear flank That was secure, cruel. Zhuge that was like the narrator just like tri tricking us. Armies on his northern campaign. Talking about the, the non-mon, showing Ming Kuo's face on the map, and then just be like, and then it was dealt with. <laughs> and then we go back out north. <laughs> the Shu army moved north from Hanjong, heading for the three cities of Nan'an, Tian Shui, and Anding. The world of virtue, which he had sought together with Liu Bei. He could not let this dream simply vanish among the pages of history. The Shu military, joined by numerous peasant volunteers, marched north to strike at Wei. For Zhuge Liang and the rest of Shu, a long and arduous battle was just beginning. Yes. 
to fulfill the wishes of your father. I have dedicated my life to this cause. But should that not be enough this time? What's the I matter? like the way Liu Shan is sitting and how you he's sound like, like it's all coming to an end. Uh tapping his fingers against the arm of the chair. Mannerisms alone so? in that one scene told you a lot about his character. Yes, my lord. It's nice attention to the detail. I apologize. I guess we'll get the elemental and vulnerability one, why not? Let your enemies in story mode even attack with uh, elements, but whatever. Lord Liu Shan laughs a lot, doesn't he? I mean, that's a good thing, but it does make you wonder about him. Okay, you, you're not the major I wanted. Lord Liu Shan is a kind and gentle ruler. Those who call him feeble-minded simply don't know him like I do. In bed. Ha <laughs> ha. Master Juga Liang. For one now thing, the, opportunity to his relationship with Xing Sai just gets dream. dropped after this. To restore the Han Dynasty and build a land of peace and virtue. And to do so, we must first strike down Wei. We are counting on you, Juga Liang. I look forward to seeing you in action. Leave it to me, your highness. What are you doing back here? I shall support Lord Liu Shan from the shadows. <laughs> sure you will. They could have got one of the guys with a deeper voice to do that. Trying to find the major I want. The it's me guy. Hey, it's Masu. I hear that Lord Liu Shan is labeled a fool by his people. Is he truly fit to serve as emperor? Hold your tongue, Masu. Lord Liu Shan possesses a virtuous heart, much like his father before him. And so he has vowed to carry on the will of our fallen lord. Of course, my lord. Please, forgive my impudence. All I know is Lord Guan Sua is his third son. I forget the rest. Nothing to report, sir. What? Did his voice just change? Nothing to report, sir. Okay. Oh, you're my him, lord. right? You remember me, right? I intended to retire from the army, but my lord's death has convinced me to stay on. I want my lord's dream to become a reality. For that dream, I will fight on. Good on you, buddy. Yeah, bing. That was everyone. Oh, wait, I could probably go inside and talk to Liu Shan, right? Or didn't I already do that? We are counting on you, Juga Liang. I look forward to seeing you in action. All right, moving up. This is one battle we must win at all costs, if only for the sake of our former lord. All units, prepare to march. Understood. This land will be valuable as a foothold for our push north. We must begin by defeating Shaho Mao's vanguard. Thank you. 
Okay, now you're going to double jump. Nice. Oh, damn. Again, Coleco. Thank you. $20. Yeah, thanks a lot. You're really refunding this mic here. <laughs> I managed to escape the clutches of Liu Bei when he died. <laughs> also wanted to say thank you for the stream and uh, conveniently on your birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Just make sure that no one is out planning to ruin the mic. Yeah, hopefully not again. You know, I'm playing as Yuga Leong. He better not do it again. I'll get him killed if he does. Just imagining you. <laughs> Coleco's just been trapped. <laughs> there is no greater Infected by benevolence. <laughs> now is the opportune moment. Now is the opportune moment. Shao Mao is just bolting. I can't believe it. I've never met someone so strong. My lord, Shao Ho Mao has fled. I suggest we give chase. There is no need for that. Let him go for now. You can really tell the young strategist and uh, Liu Shang just have the same voice actor. Messenger to Tsui Liang. Tell him that I have headed south in pursuit of Shao Mao. Ah, you intend to use Shao Mao as me. Now is the opportune moment. Tsui Liang will surely come forth from this castle. Did we get Jia Ting? I think we skipped it. I'm not sure. Thank you for your cooperation. We cannot be beaten when we work together. Oh, Liu Shang's wife joined the uh, membership. Thank you. I would add a Liu Shang emote, but I don't know who's gonna who's gonna be your husband <laughs> at the start of the next stream. My money's on either Dingai or Guo Hai. I must retreat. This is not the end. Okay, you didn't get skipped but it's in legend mode. Alright. Yeah, they fit a lot of battles they skipped into legend mode. I've never met someone so strong. So we'll have Masu screen time there. It seems there are two more votes for Bohai. <laughs> Jugo Leong, what are you doing here? I thought you'd headed south. That was a lie. I was waiting for you to I was lying, of course. There is no greater weapon than a I like the charge mind. too, just a point down and then it's Logan. This area is merely a pawn in my larger overall strategy. Then you have outsought me. I have no choice but to surrender. I can't reach any of the commanders, so okay. More enemy forces have appeared and are marching right towards us. Oh, come on. Why do I suck on? Their target will be Lord Yu Shan. We must provide him with aid at once. A true warrior indeed. 
You will carry our honor across the land. We'll bring it home to all of this. The is your own peril. Now is the opportune moment. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the Oh, I saw one. The other thing just ran past me. There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. And ran past everyone else, too. Zip Wan Lung, he couldn't figure out how to get out of that clip. Yuga Leon, give it up! Drop your weapons and surrender! And Chen Kei couldn't figure out how to use stairs. Why do you continue to resist? I call upon the thunder. Love that hits backwards, although it doesn't seem to deal much damage. Now is the opportune moment to start. Damn it. Yeah, that's why I really don't like the air attack with this. It takes too long to even get the attacks off, so the enemy will just hit you if you try to close to them. There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. I can't believe it. I've never met someone so strong. Not bulls. It was a trick all along. <laughs> you really thought I'd surrender to you? The time has come. All forces forward. Claim Juga Lian's head. You have allowed your pride to overcome your senses. One person cannot decide a battle. Fight me now for glory. Let them move, please. Now is the opportune moment. Now that's how it's done. You inspire us all. He didn't drop a set up, but he did drop an elixir, so I guess that's kind of nice. You will carry our honor across the land. Call upon the thunder. I can't believe it. I've never met someone so strong. And a bit too far past me. Uh, my largest overall strategy. Please, please get off the barricade. Okay. I don't believe that Shah Ho Mao would have been able to outsmart Ma Su. Someone must have given him advice. In Tian Shui, there's a man called Jiang Wei. They speak of him as a genius. Hmm. I would like to meet this man. What a name on that guy. I guess I need to pick up the pace. You appear to be a competent fighter. However, I will not be easily defeated. Gang one Z I'm sure I pronounced that incorrectly, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it. Moments to retreat 
is not necessarily to lose. I was hiding behind a tree. This crush them all feels a bit unwarranted. A second ambush. The strategy needs to be fine, but it shows definite promise. Jong Wei interests me more and more. I am Guo Huang. I shall show you no mercy. Call upon the thunder. <laughs> thunder stick. That's a name for an arm cannon, sure. You inspire us all. up. There we go. A most impressive strategy, my lord. But I still stand in your path. The battle is not over yet. Lights instead of going based on fire. Fire! The castle's on fire! Now is the opportune moment. Help! Let us out! Oh no, I guess you're gonna young did it. You can never tell with this game. Oh, Mazoon did it. But our men will die too! It may bring victory, but I cannot sacrifice innocent lives. Wow, Zhang Wei is hyper armor. Men, run for your lives! He started his Muso, so I had to use mine preemptively. Oh, you just reached another level. <coughs> had you abandoned your troops before, then you may well have been the victor here today. No man with a heart could ever do such a thing. It seems you, too, are a man who knows the spirit of benevolence. Benevolence? Pillaging of the people is unacceptable. The injured must be tended to, even the enemy. We are the inheritors of my father's dream of benevolence. We must take pride in that. It really does go into benevolence overdrive once the Gubei dies. Zhuge <laughs> led the Shu army to victory at Nan'an, Tian Shui, and Anding, in addition to Mount Qi. He also obtained the talents of Oh no, he's radicalizing him, sir. <laughs> the brainwashing begins. <laughs> they just trap Determined people in a room and just shout benevolence at them <laughs> until they fall Rain in line. Its army to the deviously <laughs> clever Suma Yi. Zhuge Liang dispatched Ma Su to Jie Ting in order to face Sumayi. 
However, Ma Su was no match for Suma Yi's intellect. Jie Ting fell to Wei, and Zhuge Liang lost all footholds from which he could easily attack Wei. Zhu was forced to temporarily withdraw its forces. And yet, the officers and people of Zhu still were determined to realize the land of virtue that Liu Bei had once sought. This northern campaign would go on for years, and these events would be replayed again and again. Time passed, with neither Xu nor Wei gaining the upper hand. And eventually, Zhuge Liang fell ill. Knowing that his time was limited, Zhuge Liang summoned Jiang Wei, and together they set out on one last campaign north. The battle would take place on the Wuzhang Plains against his nemesis, Suma Yi. And so the dragon summoned his last remaining strength and set out to fulfill the promise that he had made so many years ago. I must lay the groundwork for certain victory here today. It's hard to notice, but he was coughing up invisible blood there. My lord, there you are. Our men await your orders. Jiang Wei, it is time for you to lead our forces today. But, but I'm not yet ready. I will assist you. Learn how to do this, my boy. Yes, yes, my lord. Now, Zhang Wei, give the signal to march. Yes, Prime Minister. Okay, I'm glad I didn't start the stage because I wanted to do some other stuff first. And for the final stage, we're playing as someone completely different. And John Wei's max up. Right, he just got the regular spear in this version. He gets a fancier spear in Dynasty Warriors, uh, Dynasty Warriors 8. Which, uh, I think he actually had in Strike Force 2. I never played that one. I fight! Enemy must die! <laughs> That's one thing you found by. Yuga <laughs> Leong is getting worried. He's trying to speed things up. <laughs> It's hard to deliberately talk like that. Be but yeah, th thank you for the five dollars and nineteen cents. Oh, this will be the last. It's me. Need to find him. Sumi Yi's not one to have a weakness in his defenses. We'll have to proceed carefully on this one. The prime minister is counting on us to deliver. I refuse to let Sumi Yi get the better of us. Sumi Yi's. It's gotta be here somewhere. Dude, what are you guarding? You cannot see a thing here. I was just a boy when the infidels came to my village in their yellow turbans. But now Lord Liu Bei is dead, and his dreams have not been fulfilled. I am an old man now, 
It is time to leave my dreams in the hands of my sons, too. You are our hero, Father. We will carry on in your stead. Lord Liu Bei's dreams and the dreams of our father. They will be realized yet. My god, he actually did have a family. It wasn't make-believe. Holy shit. This, you turned my life upside down with this revelation. I legit thought he just married a rock or something. Do not underestimate the cunning of Sima Yi. I am certain this will prove to be a difficult battle. So Yu Ying, I believe you're about to be single soon. We must not let that deter us from victory. Lord Zhuge Liang is counting on us as well. All units, prepare to march. Understood. Prime Minister, I shall do my best to live up to your expectations. <laughs> They're paid actors. They weren't really a son. All right, I like that. <laughs> I do not want anybody to fall behind. Spearman's head is really good on horseback. Especially with the shockwave. You have the nerve to come alone. Better than a horse that doesn't buck up. This ends here and now. You will learn to regret this moment. I feel like this moveset was able to double jump. And that's where it's a or maybe a more Archie, I'm not sure. I just remember double jumping with Macho. What a striking figure. Well done. Do I have any siblings or friends that play Dance Warrior 7? Uh I mean seven specifically? Not anymore. <laughs> I'm basically the only person that goes back to play these older games. Necessarily to lose. But Dynasty Warriors in general, now yeah, I have friends just play it. How prodigious my talent truly is. The siblings, no, only child. Our target is the enemy's main camp. Show them what you've got. My lord is in danger. We must go to his aid. To understand Sumayi, I have to think like him. If I were him, I would place troops by the cliff near our main camp. I guess I'll just ride around and trigger that. Before I waste time fighting everyone else. Are a match for mine. There's a place we can climb up ahead. From there, we should be able to get to the cliff. Hey there. Shahobaz the name. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'll come back to deal with you. I wish I could get my horse up here, but if I call it, I'm just gonna run against the wall. Maybe now. Okay, good. Wow, there are a lot of them. You're not getting away from me. That's a great work. Just as I thought. Ambush troops! This ends here and now. Before go high. I didn't know who that was gonna grab. Are you alright? I didn't mean to grab the second time. <laughs> you are doing a fine job, by the Our Lord's body is ravaged by illness. That is why you must take the lead in this battle. I have been a fool. I have put him under undue stress, but now it is time for me to stand on my own. <laughs> My 
body will hold out no longer. But I suspect Juga Leong is no different. That little high know that. Can the sick just detect one another? Yeah, how do I get out of here? Such incredible talent. All right. You are the only one who has ever exceeded my evaluation. This ends here and now. I don't know, I mean, didn't Cao Cao do that to you? Isn't that how Guan Yu died? It's always annoying when the grab misses. To retreat is not necessarily to lose. You're not getting away from me. Good Norby. Their Mozu doesn't really have all that much uh, range to it. For yours is the first man I shall see. Most impressive. We should all aspire to such greatness. You can defeat me. This ends here and now. It's the first time we've heard Simi Shi speak. You missed. If I don't withdraw now, then the world is destined to be overrun by imbeciles. Now you see just how prodigious my talent truly is. Does this make anyone dizzy? I know it does for me. Precious supplies and repelled all your devious plots. Sumayi, how long are you going to hide? If you insist upon staying put, then you will die in your cowardice. Sumayi is on the move. I will break through the center while making sure our allies are well I do love the music starting like just as he starts to twirl his uh his spear. That is a wise decision. I know I can count on you from now on. Everything to me, my lord. I will realize the land of benevolence you dream of. I fight for Liu Bei. We can't rely on Lord Juga Liao forever. It's time for us to stand up and be counted. The actions we take here will be the key to unlocking this battle. Lord Jiang Wei, the enemy is firing. 
has due caution. My lady, now would be a good time to use the juggernauts. Understood. Please eliminate the enemy presence from the immediate area. Use juggernauts. Oh, do I have to... Do I have to pilot one? Now you see just how prodigious my talent truly is. Right, I forgot you can do that. I mean, it's just gonna die when I approach a, a ballista. Because those are vastly superior. I knew you to be a fool. But I did not think that it would be this easy to isolate you from your army. Enemy! Oh, they're not doing that much damage to it. Me. Of course, I'm not dealing much to it either. Yeah, let's abandon this. Ow. Help me! Hey, Juggernaut suck. Just give us more ballistas, please. Another level of brilliance. Eugene's just like, my lord, I made a new invention. It's worse than the first one. Your prowess rekindles my spirit. Onward to victory. Enemy ranks a little before. Exploit them to bring them to their doom. This is tough. I need more men. So we never deal more damage. But it was fine. The time has come to test ourselves. I bring news. An enemy unit is on the move. We'll head to the right. You have truly well, I guess we should head reputation. to the other side. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. What a striking figure. Well done. So if they're just retreating, I'm not gonna catch them in time. Cool, oh, landmines. I am simply carrying out my orders. Great, going this path was, was worth it. God damn it! I thought I had prepared everything. The enemy ah. I noticed! Ah. Take me now. This We're sucks! Going. Please tell me defeating you somehow disables them all. This is not the end. Damn it! Ah, the boss. You see just how prodigious my talent truly is. Ow! I hate this. It's the worst. <laughs> uh, CBE is so much better at this than we are. Ah! Forget it. Oh, they almost killed Shahoba on their own. Wow, Shahoba sucks. Although I may be adept at fleeing a battle, that doesn't mean I'm proud of it. Now you see just how prodigious my talent truly is. I think we'll take down these. Already made arrangements for my interview. Oh, they're not really issues. Your prowess rekindles my spirit. Onward to victory. <laughs> they invented mines, and that's what the air strikes. Yeah, I honestly don't know when landmines were invented. I know they had explosives around this time, so. It's entirely possible they could have had explosives put in the ground.
You're trying too hard, and now you've got me involved. Man, you can tell this is one of Kaiju Tan's early, early works. The Sigma Jiao sounds kind of weird from what I'm used to hearing. Is the thing Kaji Tang or Kaji Tang? I don't even know if I'm thinking Kaji right. I was really hoping that gate, like behind, uh, what's his face, Madai, would open up. My lord, enemy troops but since it's not, we must do something. Yeah, I guess I just need to keep running back. Need to stop Ding Ai, anyways. Apparently. Man, this map is huge. to the right side. I am grateful for your help. I knew I could count on you the moment I saw you. I am here to help you, Jiang Wei. Go forth and show why you are considered such a prodigy. Let's go! Don't leave any of them standing! It takes so long to reach my die. Amazing isn't dead yet. Who is older, Huang Guy or Huang Chong? Joshu. <laughs> Oh, that's why they make you attack from this angle, huh? So you get ambushed. Flipping the wall with the grab is the worst. Because the enemy just, like, resets standing up so they can attack you as soon as it finishes. Not to mention, they get spared a lot of the damage. Don't make me laugh. To retreat is not necessarily to lose. Yeah, this uh, you know, it is. Okay, everyone, we are attacking their main camp. Enemy 
reinforcements have arrived. Everything is waiting this on this battle. And All units, go and lay waste to the enemy camp. Actually, he was pretty smart of seeing me what he did here. For me to display my prodigious talent to all the land. Wait for the enemy to get past all of his guys, and then spawn in reinforcement to run past the entire army that has now moved up. You just rush your good to gong. As a result, as a result, now we got some of our guys running back to try and stop them. The world needs benevolence that you can provide. I didn't think Simi Yi would give us a, a tick on the benevolence counter. But it counts. Mark it down. I was hoping I could catch him at the end of a trap. Get farther. Come on, then. Yeah. How hard would it be to like help someone up with your horse that quickly? The strength in Shima Zhao's arm to just lift up his dad like that. Don't you forget. If you wish to get at Zhuge Liang, you will have to go through me first. The Shu army defeated Wei at the Wujong Plains. The bravery and wisdom of Zhuge Liang's hand-picked successor, Jiang Wei, managed to overcome the cunning of Sima Yi. However, Sima Yi was not content to simply fade into the sunset with this defeat. And yet, under the clear and starry night, Zhuge Liang believed. He believed that even without him, Shu would go on fighting. <laughs> I just noticed Liu Shang Wei saying, No, Zhang Hui gone. Zhuge the catapults are useless. <laughs> and he saw. He saw the one time Zhang Hui gets Yu, mentioned in uh, and all earlier Dazi Weir's games, like my name. Given their lives in search of peace. Chang An lies ahead, and beyond that, the capital of Wei, Luoyang. With Wu's help, we'll destroy Wei, and realize our Lord's dream. <laughs> the road to that goal is long and steep yet. My Lord? But still, I have faith. I see the spirit of benevolence of Lord Liu Bei. I see it in you, Jiang Wei. And I see hope for the next generation. You mustn't speak as if your time is done. We will do this together. Hmm. I...
I hereby swear that I will make a land of benevolence a reality. That was the final benevolence. What's the counter at? 18. 18 benevolences. <laughs> Zhang Wei practicing his Zhang Jiao cosplay. Yeah, his movements were sort of like that with me. <laughs> Zhang Wei slipped and died. <laughs> that would be great. At the beginning of the end. Yeah, pretty much. Damn, Goloko again. <laughs> <laughs> 18 benevolent says $18. Oh, well, actually, uh, th there's, uh, there's about 20 more benevolences. I just, if you didn't see them. <laughs> nah. Uh, for real, thank you. Damn. <laughs> You've about single-handedly refunded this microphone. <laughs> We still need the cows of Manelos when Jen comes around. Nah, I don't think we need to. We, uh, maybe we'll count it up in Dungeon Warriors 8 when we play a shoe story. We'll see if that's as benevolent and heavy as this one. Jen, we probably need to have like an imbecile counter. Yeah, like Rowling just said. <laughs> no, you, I wasn't saying you, you pay me for it, Coco. <laughs> no, we just keep track of it for fun. <laughs> yeah, for Jen, we'll, we'll have an imbecile counter. We'll see what it is at the end. 18 benevolences is quite a lot. Yeah, they actually didn't bring up benevolence like that much in this. It's mostly just that when they did, they tend to say it a lot back to back. Oh great, whatever. <laughs> okay, so just one more story mode left. Again. So I'll have one long screen coming up. And then after that, I'll probably go back to the, uh, the two hour screens for Legend Mode. Because whenever I stream for like a... Like five or six hours at a time. I just start to get hungry. <laughs> Even eating at a time. Oof, but alright. That was pretty fun. I'm glad I was able to uh, make up for the last scream. I think I've apologized enough for that one. Make <laughs> people realize I'm sorry that the mic screwed up. Though, I, yeah, sorry it took me so long to uh, have another stream. Uh, I'm still going to be uploading the Pirate Warriors videos, but hardly anyone watches those anyways. Oh, not really, not really even worth watching. They're just here just because it has Warriors in the name. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm not sure when I'll get around to doing Jin. Maybe later in the week? It's Wednesday. Uh, if not later this week, then next week. Alright, well. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.